Things are tough actually, but not for tough people like me. Madam Tinted, why in eighty eighty? I can eighty some old. When the going gets tough, tough people get going. So, my dear, uh, you remember Professor Shakaya's birthday party? We have to appear on uniform now, as Shebi. My dear, I've not forgotten. But um, seriously, I, don't, I doubt if I can make it. Why? Your husband won't let you or what? You know my husband now. I can't even mention it. <laughs> Please don't go there. Hey! Mercy! Mercy, my friend. So you're still like this? Why will you lose the knob? My dear, come out of your shell. Come out and enjoy your life to the fullest. What is this? Hey? Do you want to die? Oh, have you forgotten the Neka? Neka Okeke, our friend. This was exactly the kind of life that Neka was living. Her husband meted all kind of evil treatments on her till she died. Do you know they are running to uh, Christy, Christy Carlo and Elizabeth? Elizabeth Obona now, Elizabeth, in a St. Prince hostel. You need to see these women. They were spending money. Spending money as if it was going out of fashion at Balogo Market. Mm -hmm. How about me? Nezenum, Madam Tilted. <laughs> Why are you in 8080? I'm a no bodo. My husband might be dead, but I am a proud widow. Oh, yes. I am enjoying my life to the fullest. I got an 8080. I got an 8080. You're here telling me, your husband. Baby girl, oh, what kept you so long now? I ran to the gym. Ah, you're welcome. Hi. I know you're so tired. Yes. I was wondering, now it's been long you, you, you went out to the gym. <laughs> oh. Let me be taking my leave now. Auntie, am I driving you? Bye, mama. Hmm? No. Let me go, Carol. Okay. Oh. Uh, Auntie, uh. please, can you help me tell Liberia I said that she should come? I want her to escort me to the market. I need to pick a few things. I'll do that. Hey, will you? One mm. I like spending some money, you know. I just yeah. feel like <laughs> spending money. That's my <laughs> daughter. <laughs> That's my daughter. Hey, what the ambassador of her mother. Hey. No one has to live his life to the fullest. Hey. Oh, Carol. Hey. I'm God in okay. 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 Hey. Greet your hey. husband. Oh. <laughs> Mom, hey. shower, 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 How much is this? 90,000 naira. 19? Yes, ma'am. Is it quality one? <laughs> yes, it is, of course. Do you want this? No. Let's go now. Come and help me select some things. Thank you. These things here are way too expensive for me. Ebere, life is too short. Money is meant to be spent. Come on, pick something and stop acting so naive. Don't worry. Okay, I'll just help you pick something. Ebele, you have to relax. Besides, I want our friendship to surpass that of our mothers. Please, stop acting like you're not happy for me. Pick something, I'll pay. Don't worry, our friendship will definitely surpass that of our mothers. And I'm definitely happy for you. 
Okay, but I can't get these things. They are too expensive for me. Don't I'll pick something for you. Home shop collections. Oh, but they are too big. I check this one. They are too big. No. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Ebi, I think I've seen something that will suit you. Oh, I have. Ugh. Good name. What do you think? How much is it? It's 10,000. 10,000? I don't want, just get what you, whatever you want and give you, let's leave this place. I don't want anything from here. Your things are too expensive. Honestly, but I really think you have to take it easy with life. Slow down. Ibele, what do you mean slow down? Slow down? <laughs> Girl, you should wake up from your slumber. Come with me to Abuja. Come and mix up with all these top politicians, money-making big boys. <laughs> They'll take you to Dubai, France, or even America for shopping. Ah. Mm -hmm. No. I'm not cut out for that kind of lifestyle. Besides, I, I treasure my good name. Oh, good name? Tell me, Billy. Good name, empty stomach. Bad name, fat wallet. Which do you prefer? Ha. Hey, Ekwi. Oh. He never ceases to amaze me. How? Please, I am very content with the money my parents give me. Thank you. Peanut. Peanut. Chicken change. That's what you get. Oh, come on, Ebele. Sometimes I wonder what my life would be like without money. I mean, without the... Tom Ford? CK? I mean, life would be so boring. 
that's going to be like a punishment for me. I think that poverty is a disease, is a crime. And every poor man should get the capital punishment. <laughs> mm -hmm. You catch a poor man. Equi. <laughs> Equi, you've changed it. Where are you taking my food to? Oh, so you need the food. Follow me to Abuja, walk out and make some more money. Eat the chicken and get fat. If I didn't go to Abuja, you won't see that chicken to eat. I can't afford chicken. I'll take it back. Sorry. Ah, I'll take it back. Come here. His Majesty. Nkume. Your Majesty. Nkume. Your Majesty. Nkume. His Majesty. Your Majesty. This is the third time you are calling me and you are not saying anything. Ah. Uh, you hope all is well, Your Majesty. Oh, most certainly. Everything is under control. It's just that every time I see you, your father's face, flashes through my mind. His honesty, his sincerity, his straightforwardness, his total commitment. It's, they continue to flash through my mind. Son, keep it up. It is already well with you. <clears throat> Your Majesty, I do not know what I've done to deserve all these praises. I believe my best is yet to come. You predicted that my son, the prince, will travel abroad and study white man's education and come back with first class. And this came to pass. You also said that, uh, <clears throat> that um, I will become the chairman of the Council of Traditional Rulers. And that has also come to pass. Your Majesty, your reign will forever be remembered. I thank the gods. That is Majesty. I appreciate the good works of Nkume. Son of Ogada de Grecia, I shall not let you down. No doubt. And I can tell you that uh, the kingdom will never forget your good works. He said... My dear, the way Ikem is going, <laughs> I don't think he's going to put it in his itinerary. Igwe, I have taken some time to sort everything out. That will not be a problem. <laughs> don't let us be fooled by uh, the behavior he's exhibiting. The Ikem that you are seeing now is not the same Ikem that that left this shows so many years ago. Well, I have chosen some of the maidens in this kingdom. And I know he's going to pick whoever the next queen of this kingdom will be. And you think he will tell the line? No, he will. Unless he is not my own son. He came the pride of his mother. A son I carried in this my womb for nine months and fed with his breasts. He will. He will. What I am saying is that his contact with the Western world has taken his toll on him. His manner, the mannerisms, his character, they've changed. He will. Leave everything to me. I know what to do. If you say so, my dear. If you say so.
none of the girls, none of the 40 girls I have seen is worth it. I'm just doing this out of courtesy. Son, don't be hasty with your resolution. Sleep over it. As a future king, you need to think before you take certain decisions. Mother, this is my future. Our collective future. Must, must the future queen come from these lot? I, I think we should look beyond our borders. Look at other people. This is once in a lifetime something. No woman is the best. You just have to get your own and fashion her to your taste. There is no already made woman. That is why I want you to get your own so that I can help with the training. Let me teach her the do's and the don'ts in the palace. I've heard you, Mom. I will take my leave now. I'm not looking for gold. I'm not looking for silver. I'm just looking for an ordinary girl. Where can I find her? You have not said anything. Is it that the courts have not spoken to you concerning the matter? It is not yet clear. But I have seen... I have seen so. The princess wife is not there. Then where is she? Since the courts have refused to show you any of these maidens. Your Majesty, what we human consider right and just may be considered wrong and unjust by the gods. Let us wait for a while. The truth of the matter is that the prince will marry, but his wife is not there. Nkume, you better start seeing clearly. Your Majesty, take us to the safe. Since. Even if it's stone that you've been cooking, at least you should have been done by now. Point of correction. My name is Equi, not Baby. Secondly, as to what I am cooking, it's none of your business. Equi, are you referring to me? Patrick, I am tired. I'm tired. I'm fed up. Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Equi, what have gone over you? What's your problem? What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me, Patrick. Shoes have level. Shoes have level. My level has passed your level. Okay. Can you buy me a ticket to Dubai? Business class, oh? No. Do you know the phone I'm using? Blackberry. Can you afford it? No. Patty, where do I start from? Okay. Have you tasted the champagne they call Crystal? Of course not. What about Hennessy? No, again. Patty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Girls with asses like mine do not roll with boys with faces like. No, check out the ass now. Check it. No, compare this ass to your face, Paddy. This ass is finer than your face. It can't tell. No, you check it and balance it. This ass does not go with your face. I'm sorry. Ah, doesn't tell it. Ah. Oh, oh my dear. Mommy. <laughs> my dear mommy. Thank God, mommy is here. Mommy, I don't know what is wrong with Equi. I, 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 I don't know what has come over her. She's just talking to me anyhow. What did I say? Because I said our sizes are no longer the same. I said you can't afford me. Um, is your name not Mr. Patrick? Yes, ma'am. Patrick, take a close look at my daughter. Just look at her. Can't you see that so much money has been spent on her? She has gone through some transformation. 
And of course, such the money is not coming from you. But mommy, you know... Hold it, I'm still talking. Just look at my daughter. Look at her gold chain. Can you afford the cost of this gold chain? Look at her skin now. So much polishing has been done on this skin. Can you afford the cost of the cream, designer's cream, that is being used on this skin? My dear, levels have changed. My daughter has stepped up. Do you know something, young man? When the rhythm of music changes, the dance step will automatically change. My daughter has stepped up. Oh yes, she now hobnobs with the movers and shakers of this society. Top politicians, top businessmen, senators, governors and ministers. So my dear, if you really want to have anything to do with my daughter, you have to go and make money anyhow. It's true. It's true. Yes. Mommy, it's me, Fadi. Eh, eh, now I know now. Oh, oh if it was all, you could see gone. My friend, people are not saying about it now. Oh, Mama, I have something important to tell you. Sorry. Eh, see, see what happened. Your Majesty, with all due respect, I have tried. I, I know I have tried. But at this point, I am just asking for the free hand that I choose my own wife. I, I want to find someone who I can play with, someone who I can share my secrets with. Son, your mother and I can never deceive you. I, we wish you well. We want the best for you. You are our only son. But we cannot open our eyes and watch you make some of those common mistakes. Father, I understand. But I just want this one opportunity. This one opportunity. Like I said, I want to find someone who will love me for who I am and not because of what I have or what I am. My son, we cannot fold our arms and watch you get married to someone who would bring shame to this palace. No. I quite understand that gone are the days when parents chose partners for their children. But this is a peculiar case. This kingdom has to be protected. Moreover, your father is the chairman of the Council of Traditional Rulers in the state. Mother, it's not like I'm not aware of what you're saying. But I just want you to understand that before someone becomes perfect, they must have gone through the stage of imperfection. I'm just asking for this one opportunity. Please, let me have it and see what I make of it. Ikem, this kingdom cannot be compromised. You need someone who is bold and brave to help you rule this kingdom when we are gone. Son, you have heard the queen, your mother. She is absolutely right. The choice is yours. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. Permission to take my leave now. Honestly, Billy, if I was to come in a pain in the ass, I couldn't help but tell the truth. Which is? Which is that he can't afford me? Come on. That guy can't pay for my food. Okay. I'll be going to Dubai next week. Can he afford to buy me a ticket? Business class. No. Can he afford to buy me my kind of drink? Hennessy, crystal champagne. <laughs> he doesn't even know what it is. Babe, hey, come on, there's a difference between Hennessy, crystal champagne, and Coca Mortina. Come on. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to understand something here. Was it not this party that was paying your school fees and paying for your house when home went school? The one time love of your life? Honestly, part of the reasons why I like you so much is because you know how to recount history. 
But thank God all that is in the past now. I don't belong to the past. I belong to the present. And if the future comes, we take it from there. What? Come on, babe. Girls with asses like mine. Don't date boys with faces like ass. Babe, check it. No, no, babe. Check it. Check it. No, balance it. Sit down, 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 sit Check it, come check it. 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 Majesty, I what do you mean leave the supermarket? Huh? I came in here the way she's coming in here. Leave the supermarket. You said that Majesty wants to shop. Or do you want me to force you out of this place? You dare not use force on me. Do you hear me? You dare not use force on me. It's alright. It's alright. Let her go. Her Majesty Queen Elika, the Asiwagi of the Bala Kingdom. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I must commend your boldness it doesn't come like that i would like you to be my visitor in the palace edwin come card tomorrow afternoon of course your majesty once a nice meeting mm -hmm. choose a bride amongst those scoundrels called maidens. I'm still listening, Mom. Ikim, I have found your wife. She's so pretty, well-bred, strength of character, just name it, she has it all. I've heard you, Mom. I've heard all that you're saying. But until I lay my eyes on that paragon you're talking about, there is no way I can appreciate the lady. I need to see her. That's the only way I can make my own assessment. For me, all that glitters is not gold. Oh, don't just go there. This one glitters and she is gold. I see. So when do I get the privilege of setting my eyes on her? Don't you trust your mother anymore? <laughs> She's coming here tomorrow. You can I know what is in your mind. I'm going to prove you wrong this time.
coming. Let's go. Okay. Ta ah. What do you think? Here we enter. This can't go now. What sort of Mary Maka dress is this? Are you going to a Bella's house or what? You can't dress to the palace like this now. Mommy, it's just an ordinary visit. Wrong! This is not just an ordinary visit. This is once in a lifetime opportunity. My dear, come on, let me get to something sexy. Something that will be benefiting for this all important outing. Do not disappoint your mother. Mommy, I can't disappoint you. I'm going to the palace and I want to look responsible. That's why I wore this. Do you think I'll let you down? Of course I trust you. I come, Mamo. <laughs> we go, on, Mama. Hmm? And one more thing. If you miss the prince, don't miss the king. I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go, Jenny. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm hot. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm hot. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm hot. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm hot. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm hot. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm hot. I don't know what you're Oh, thank you. Hey, I'm the big one. <laughs> hey, if you see what I saw while coming to your house, I saw these two cars belonging to King Gabriel. You're still wondering. What do you expect? <laughs> my dear, they are leaving from my house. I yes, don't so understand. They came for my daughter. Hey, uh, hey, oh. hey my dear, mm. to cut the long story short. The queen met my daughter at the supermarket, liked her waist, and asked her to come over. Jai. Okay, okay, okay. I hear that the queen loves these outgoing people. And you can trust the queen. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, I know that the prince just came back. He is very, very single. Mm -hmm. So I told my daughter, that she cannot get the prince, that the king will not be a bad idea. Caro, why the king? If you see the prince, it's understandable. But the king, why not the king? Either way, my dear, huh? either way, one will end up in the palace. As we speak, my daughter is either with the prince or the king. I pray that it will work out between two of them. Amen. It has worked out. <laughs> <sighs> Why am I called Madame Tinted? Ah, mom. By fire, by force. <laughs> it will work out. My dear, that calls for celebration, Jare. Yes. Hey. Hey. You're lucky. My dear. So, okay. This is a good. No, I've told you about it. I want you to take a good look at her as your judgment. She asked me. She has all it takes to be your wife. The future queen. I'm going to leave both of you to talk. Excuse me. Thank you, Your Majesty. You are welcome. Hi. Hi. My mother.
very humorous woman, right? Oh, of course she is, of course. Her mannerism, her behavior is just exactly like that of the Queen of Jordan. We met at Cyprus while I was in Greece at the airport. You know, I usually fly business class. <laughs> so at the VIP lounge, she was there and we got talking. My goodness, we just flowed. <laughs> just like royalty, you know, she, she forgot she was royalty. Uh, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, nice ring. Oh, well, thank you. I actually bought it in France, a city called Cannes. Yeah, Cannes, that's where I got this from. An edifice, that's what it is. Marvelous. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> your, your dress is beautiful, wonderful. My goodness. You seem to have a flair for very good things. My God. Well, I got the dress in London. Oh, come on. You haven't perceived the fragrance of my perfume. <laughs> It's lovely black. I bought it in Italy. Italy? Yes, Italy. And my shoes are out. Oh my goodness. I fly all the way from here to South Africa all the time to get shoes from Eastgate. They have wonderful shoes at the Aldo shop. But this particular one, London Oxford Circle, precisely. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I, I must add, you are so handsome. Thank you. Gotcha! You're looking at my bangles! I actually got them in Kenya when I was on the safari. I needed to have some breathing space. Uh, actually, I... Are you okay? Are you okay? When are we meeting next? We aren't done with this meeting, are we? It's concluded. See you some other time. Realty. Mother. Yes. I am going to find it very difficult to settle with that lady. Why? W what does she lack? She's. Uh, she has all it takes to be the next queen. Mom, you are not seeing what I am seeing in this lady. He came, what are you saying? A queen is just without blemish. She is the dream of every well-meaning young man. Come on, son. Mom, the girl is extravagant. She's too extravagant. Everything she talks about is money. Money this, money that, where she bought her perfume, the shoes she's wearing, which country she's been to, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I'm not cut for that, Mom. I'm not. I like the fact that she's bold, yes, but she's not humble, mother. And I know, you know, that humility is the sustenance of a marriage. Would you have wanted to marry a coward as a wife? You need somebody that is brave and bold. Somebody that will help you build this kingdom. Mom! Please. She is without blame. She will always be there for you to chat your cause. Can't you understand, son? You see, son, when, when one tries to be too careful, um, there is a tendency to become careless. There is nothing in this world that uh, where you can be guaranteed 100 percent so you have to be tolerant a little bit to the right a little bit to the left dad i understand all you're saying but this this is marriage we're talking about it's it's not something you just want me to jump into dad please i need you to to feel what i am feeling please my son Honestly and sincerely, I do. You see, these girls, they're beautiful. All you need to do is close your eyes and just pick one of them and then train her your ways. Ike Mumu, please. 
Don't you want me to carry my grandchild? Please, do this for your mother's sake, please. I will marry when I meet the right person. Your Majesty, King of Ebala Kingdom, may you live long. Your Majesty, something good is crashing my nose. Nkume, to the point. It is not clear spiritually, but physically from what I'm seeing. Yes, I am seeing that the lady that came here is capable of stepping into the shoes of the queen of this great kingdom. Your Majesty, yes, I can feel it. Nkume, you can never be serious. Would you go to the new palace and wait for us there? When was the last time you treated yourself with malaria? Because the, the, the behavior you're exhibiting here is, is a symptom of that. No, 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 on the contrary, no. See, his father served me diligently. He never for once disappointed me. And he, Nkume, has always been precise. Well, like except for the odd um, occasion when he was... Uh, Nkume, speak! Your Majesty, the lady in question has some faults, but the faults are controllable. Everybody has a fault. Thank God you said it's controllable. As far as I'm concerned, that girl will handle this kingdom very well when we are gone. Yes, yes, I agree. I absolutely agree. Mother. Son, please, just do this for me. Close your eyes and join me. So tell me, how did it go? It went well. Mommy, nothing happened. It was just a mere visit. I mean, what do you want to hear? Uh, but you, did you meet anybody at all? Yes. I, I met the prince. Hey! You met the prince? Yeah? He's open. Hey, tell me something. So, did you, did it take you inside? You know what I mean now? Mm -mm. Mommy, I don't know what you mean by if you took me inside. In fact, I didn't understand anything of what the prince was saying. What do you mean you don't understand what the prince was talking about? Yeah? Don't tell me that you're a weakling because I am not a weakling. I am not a weakling, no. So don't fall my hand. Anything I want in this time, I get it. I am not called Madame Tinted for nothing. I know that yeah, you took after your father because his blood runs right inside your veins. Tell him you don't know what we don't know what he's talking about. You had better change, Joe. You had better change. Mommy, I didn't want to disgrace you. I didn't want to come out looking cheap. Will you shut up? Shut up! What has been cheap got to do with this? My dear? The end result is marriage. Marriage to the prince. Whether by crook or by hook, the end justifies the means. We're talking about being cheap. What has being cheap got to do with this? And let me tell you, eh? If you miss that prince, we're talking about being cheap. By the way, what is even expensive about you? Tell me, what is expensive about you? Stupid girl. Anyhow, that prince, he must marry you. That prince must marry you. If you know what to do, either by crook or by hook, you must hook that prince. I'm not a wicked, so I don't know where you got that one from. I'm a mentality. I'm more than teacher in this town. Anything I want, I get. Make sure you get the prince. For some time now, I have been having sleepless nights. What troubles your majesty? Oh, Nkume, you wouldn't understand. Then make me understand, your majesty. (sighs) 
age is not on my side. And uh, things have not been going fine with me. Oh, you are talking about the prince and the future queen of this great kingdom. Have the gods said anything? Your Majesty should not be troubled. Though it's not yet clear. Mkume, make it clear. Try and make it clear. Or are you no longer the son of your father? Your Majesty, Nkume is still the same Nkume. The future queen of this great kingdom is around the corner. Mm. Huh. <laughs> Could it be the, the lady who came here the other day? Your Majesty, a lot of hurdles have to be crossed. But we need this patience. Patience. The end is in sight. Thank you. Call the prince for me. Mm. Mm. My prince. My eye. The pride of his mother. I'm so happy that you finally decided to consider her positively. The next assignment is to bring her into the palace. You know what I mean. I'm not a toddler mother. I know what you mean, the whole nine yards. Hook, line, and sinker. I understand, but I still need some time. At least we have to get used to ourselves. He came. I understand. But the first thing is to pick a date we don't have time anymore. Mother, we have all the time in the world. Like I said, we need to get to know ourselves better. That's all I ask. Okay. If I say that I'm not happy, I'll be lying. At least we've crossed the first hurdle. There is no time. The gods will scheme me alive if her voice were they didn't divulge to me. So what are you saying? It is not yet clear. Yeah. Not clear at all. Not clear, not clear. When is it going to be clear? Your Majesty, when the gods so wish, I am but the voice of the gods. You are the voice of the gods, it is not clear. Nkume, are you sure you learned this job well? My queen, you don't learn this kind of job. It is an inheritance from the gods. Let us not hurry into this. Be patient. The patient dog is the father's bull. The future queen of this great kingdom will soon manifest. Kume, my patience is running out. It is running out. Your Majesty, everything is under control. Okay. Your Majesty, I hate to sound rude or immodest. But I honestly think I can't go back to the palace to see the prince. What does it take me for? Will you keep quiet? You should do all the prince an apology for not doing what has been expected of you. Your Majesty, I plead on her behalf. It's okay. My daughter, calm down. Sit, sit.
My dear, I understand that every woman has her pride. He came, my son is not as tough as he sounds. No matter what, he's still my son. I will not go contrary to what I say. Forget about what your mother just said. I know how we women behave. Uh, your Majesty, I understand what you're saying. But a prince is involved here. The prince of Ibala Kingdom for that matter. So pride should be shoved aside. Take it easy with her, please. Egwe. My daughter. Your Majesty. It's okay. Life is all about tolerance and endurance. This kingdom needs you. I mean, your strength of character and boldness. So that when we are gone, this kingdom will not fall. It needs you. Okay? I'll try, Your Majesty. I'll try. You will not regret this decision, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. I am sure everything is going to work out between her and the prince. You're welcome. That's my baby. Aquamo. <laughs> Your Majesty. Everything is going to be alright, eh? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Prince, you're welcome, eh? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, eh? So how are your people? So well. Uh, let's go to the other living room. It's okay, here is fine. Eh? Yeah. Hey, just make yourself comfortable there. Eh? Thank you. <laughs> the prince himself. You're welcome, You're welcome to Madame Tintet's residence. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha! The hey. prince himself. Just feel at home, eh? My home is your home. You're welcome. You're welcome, my prince. Thank you. Um, I must say, your reception is very commendable. Uh, hey, you're welcome. My one and only in-law, the prince himself. But not yet. In-law to be. But well, nothing is stopping it now. As far as Madame Tinted is concerned, hey, you're my in-law. Nothing is stopping it. Well, for me, tradition demands that before such names are used, the dowry and traditional rights have been fulfilled. My yeah. dear, these ones, they are just mere formalities. They are just mere custom and tradition. As far as I'm concerned, eh? <laughs> You've married my daughter. In fact, you can even go with her right away. Nothing will happen. <laughs> I'm amazed. So, what do I offer you? Just, just feel free. Make yourself comfortable. We are very prepared for you. We are ready for you today. <laughs> Well, um, I, I'm okay. You're fine. Yeah. There's dinner. There's dinner in the microwave, ready, prepared for you. Chicken brandy. Well, in that case, what did you do? Okay. Just water. Okay, let's start with water. Uh, Abby, uh, get water from the fridge. Eh? My in-law. <laughs> My one and only prince, just check out my daughter, my Auntie Lucky. Beautiful girl, she's not beautiful enough. Check out the combination now. Ivory and ebony. <laughs> hey, baby, baby, get up now. Just check her out. Just check out my daughter, isn't she beautiful? Check out the curves now. <laughs> hey, the prince, the prince. Uh, so, uh, can I ask you something? Yes, I'm all yes. Mm. What qualities do you really uh, require in a woman? I haven't thought about it like that. But now that you have mentioned it, let me ask you. What do you think a lady looks out for in a man before she falls for him? Yeah, and I'll do one card. Of course, the man has to be, you know, rich, handsome, just as you are. Flamboyant, well connected, 
You know what I mean now. It okay. has to be somebody who has traveled around a lot. Somebody who speaks fluently. In fact, a modern man. Just I like see. you. Yes. yes. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, do I say it now? And you, what do you look out for in a man before you fall in love with him? Thank you. Uh, well, for me, I think a woman should love a man for who he is and not, not what he has. Mm. I see. Uh, please excuse me. Hey, uh, uh, come, let's, let me show you something in the kitchen. My love, just make yourself comfortable. Eh? I'll be back in the gym. <laughs> oh, my friend Ebele, she has very weird ideologies about things like that. <laughs> hey, I hope you're okay. You're very okay. Eh? You're not, you're not, you eat though before you leave this house. <laughs> such a daughter in that girl. Who? That one? No, but she's not my daughter. Yeah, she's not my daughter at all. That one, she's an outcast. Osu, she's a criminal. Can you believe that she stole in the market just last week? They almost beat her to death, though, if not that, in fact, I, I came. Eh? She cannot be a girl that bed weights at her age. Please, can you believe a thing like that? She steals. Yeah. They praise themselves. Mm -hmm. Check out now. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. You will make the perfect match. Um, <laughs> I I guess. I guess I will. I guess I will take my leave now. Uh, uh, so soon? You're not staying back for the meal again. I have some business to attend to. By this time. Thanks for your reception. Okay, uh, okay. Hey, Queen, see him to the door now. Prince, Prince! <laughs> came back and was telling me something I really don't understand. So I decided to come and ask, what is it? That was why I called you. So you're like this? So you're like this? I didn't know you were such a useless woman. Nikki. Messy. Hey, God. Chinekenna. Mumma. Kajat in Ted woman. Why are you not telling your brother? You think you can outsmart me? You and your daughter think you can outsmart me. In this town, you people have failed though. You have failed you fully. Useless, you shameless woman. I'm lost. You can get missing for all I care. Hey! Mercy! Mercy, you're such a useless woman. You think you can outsmart me? <laughs> you have failed. Biko, see. Please calm down so that I can hear you out. What is it? Tell me. Come on, get out. So you don't know what is it? You don't know. You are pretending to me. Uh, leave my house. You just leave my house. Stupid woman. Why are you asking me out of your house? I don't want you or your daughter to ever step your wretched foot into this house again. Don't ever come here again, no. Foolish woman. Get out. Get out. Look how people you make a feeling funky. Oh, one over that. We shall see. Look 
kids. Thank you. <laughs> Come and sit, my dear. Thank you. Ibwe. Your Majesty. I don't understand the sudden turn of events. I don't understand you, Your Majesty. I mean, since the prince came back from your house, he has become a changed person. I don't understand you, Your Majesty. He's been mentioning one name, Ebele, Ebele, Ebele. Please, who is this Ebele? My goodness, Your Majesty. She is a prostitute. What? An outcast. You don't mean it. Oh, Your Majesty. Her mother actually left her father when he had a um, stroke before the man eventually died. And she encouraged the villain in the business. My go my goodness. My goodness. Does Prince know about this? I don't think so. God. But, Ewe, why do you mingle with such a character? Oh, your majesty. You know I'm a very humble person. Bill and I actually attended the same secondary school. She used to come to me for help, you know, and I can't possibly tell her not to stop seeing me. You know, that would be mean and rude, and I'm really not that kind of a person. There's absolutely no way I will sit here and fold my arms and watch my son marry a thief, a prostitute. A fool who abandoned her father just because he had stroke. No. Son, you heard what your mother said. Is it true? With all due respect, father, I heard what she said. Is it true? Dad, all that mother is saying is based on hearsay. She wasn't there when any of these things happened. Uh, so I have to wait till it happens to us. Before I believe, okay? It's all right, my dear. Look, son. Every rumor has an atom of truth. Tell him. But that doesn't mean you should jump to conclusion. I'm not jumping to conclusions. Okay, I want to ask a question. If this girl is as bad as they are trying to paint her, why are they still keeping her in their house? Because my in-law is just lending a helping hand. And uh, who is this in-law of yours? Ewe's mother. Long live His Majesty. His Majesty. Long live His Majesty. Looking for a love that forever will be true. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Do you remember me? Of course, I'm Prince. Ah, it's okay. I know. What I really meant to say is, do you remember where we first met? Yes, sir. Epi's house. Good. So how come I didn't? You know what? I'm looking for a love Never mind. I'm looking for someone to be devoted just to me. I'm looking for love, true love. I'm not looking for gold. I'm not looking for silver. I'm just looking for an ordinary girl. Where can I find her? Oh, true love. Oh, true love. I'm looking for love. True love. Oh, 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 true love. O
until I get there. No, don't worry, I will let you know. You can't stay. Prince! Your Majesty. I come in peace. You're welcome. Please, uh, sit, down. please sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Welcome. I come to make a single request. Eh, eh, can I have the request? Ebele, where can I look at her? Is that a joke or something? I'm not finished. I'm still speaking. I haven't landed. I was ignorant of what you people said about her. Somehow I got close to her and I did realize that I started to lose things. Eh? Cash. Hey. Jewelry. Eh? It's so cool. And some other stuff. Hey! You see? Prince, I warned you, but you didn't listen. You thought maybe I wanted to frame her up, or you see? Hey! Thank God. Chineke Zebube. Ka. Finally, I have been vindicated. There is nothing to be vindicated about. You're not accused of anything. That doesn't come into play. Hey! No wonder. No wonder. No wonder what? So this was how they were able to raise the money with which they were able to travel out. Uh, I, I, I don't understand. You don't understand? They have traveled. They have gone to Asia. Hey! Mm. Asia. Do you happen to know when they traveled to Asia? I don't know. They didn't tell me. In fact, uh, before now, they have been avoiding me like a plague because they know that I am not in support of the, what they are going there to do. Exactly. Hmm. What are they going there to do? Yeah. Prince Ogun and Ajuzikwa, what will a woman go to Asia to do, if not a prostitution? Prostitution. I see and her daughter. Oh. My prince. Chai! I feel so terrible. It's okay. I mean, even for me, you wouldn't have known unless I don't have been close to you. It's, hey. it's okay. Prince. It's okay. Please forgive us. Eh? Forgive us. I mean, if not for us, we don't have known her now. Eh? Eh, please, how much exactly did she take from you so that I can at least eh, replace the money? It's fine. Eh? It's okay. Eh? Nothing to worry about. Okay. Well, I'll leave now. Eh, Prince, now that everything is like this, eh, what next? Good day. Ah, okay. Uncle <laughs> it will be a big disgrace to a dog if a goat should catch a thief. Now, I don't want to go to other gods to help us unravel this. So, what have you got to say? Your Majesty, I understand how you feel, mm. but I'm imploring you to be patient to the end. Let us not be hasty about it so we don't enter into any problems. My son's mood for the past few weeks now has not given me pleasure at all. At all! Even if we are hasty, let's move. Mountains don't get climbed simply by wishing you are at the top. Your Majesty, the truth of the matter is that um, it's still not clear. Yet. But in no distant time, it will come to limelight. Are you go again? All I see is the huddle. Your Majesty, there are a lot of others to be crossed. Mm. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> I'm, I'm, 
I'm going to sleep. Your Majesty should not be upset with his servant. Just give me a little time. A little time? A little time. A little time? That is what I've been giving you. A little time, a little time. You have a little time. I want you to listen to me. If you listen to your mother, all will be well with you. If I had listened to my mother, I wouldn't have experienced all the ugly things I passed through in life. I wouldn't have married my husband, your father. My dear, you're lucky. You have wealth on, your, on the platter of gold. Just, just look around this house. Everything around here. I sweated. I hustled. I hustled to make it my dear. So, when it comes to marriage matters, my dear, I am an authority. I am a consultant. I will never lead you astray. If you listen to me, all will be well with you. Mommy, I've never argued with you before. I know. But it's just that, you know, someday you may want to maybe go contrary to my advice or something. I won't. Good. Your mother is an authority in marriage matters. I am a consultant. I will never lead you astray. Just listen to me. Mm -hmm. Can I sleep with you? I come home. My madam, tinted. I'm mm -hmm. a chance. Mm -hmm. Good night, yo. I've warned you times with that number to leave that woman alone. But you will never listen. Now, see how you are going to put the whole family into danger. You know that woman very well. And you know her history. And still you refuse to listen. Hmm? It will not happen again. Hmm? How do we come out from this one? You should answer that question yourself. If you know how you walk into her trap, you should find your way out of it. Oh, Papa. Papa, please, you have to listen to Mama. She doesn't know that Auntie Carol is like that. Ebi, Ebi, she knows. She knows. Let me tell you, my daughter. When you begin to fancy that which does not belong to you, eh? it is greed. Nani Bikono. Eh? Forgive me. I said it won't happen again. I don't know, come. Forgive me. I'll go no more. Bikono. I'll go no Eh? It's me. It won't happen again. Oh? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I know what to do. I'm going to report the matter to the police. And make sure she signs an undertaking with her daughter to disturb mm -hmm. us again. It's a nice option. Never to disturb us again. So that they don't spoil this, my lovely daughter, for me. Hmm? No more. I'm all the have your money alone, <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is time for me to share my good news. Papa, Mama. I've been given an appointment letter. Huh? Eh. Eh, what? Fudge Ford Foundation Hospital. Oh. Chine, give me. Oh. My, oh, my. What hey! Hey! Oh. 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 This one for celebration. <laughs> Right. Mm. Buy to go to the market. Oh. I'm going to buy to the market. I'm something to buy something, something, hey, something for today. special. Today, today. Nice. Nice. it's not ordinary hospital. Buy something special. Five star hospital. Not just ordinary hospital. Mom, forgive her. Mom, forgive her. She will be loved, daughter. Your life without the prince is like body without soul. Do you know what that means? Mommy, it is not the end of the world. 
I think you're taking this thing too far. Don't you know that there's so much prestige and pride attached to royalty? My dear daughter, the benefit is unquantifiable. Someday, the queen will die and you will become the queen. Your son, my grandson, will be the future king of Ibala land. So, my dear, the benefit is something that I cannot let sleep. If you don't marry the prince, I will kill myself for you. Yes, I will die. I will not live not to have the prince as my future son-in-law. Mbam! God forbid. Mommy. If you die, then who will not enjoy the money with me? Who will enjoy the money with me? Although, I think you were right all this while. I'm beginning to see reasons with what you've been saying. Good. Get that key, Aquamo. The die is cast. Hmm? There is a spiritualist that we will see. I'm sure if we see him, every other thing will become history. My dear, heaven helps those who help themselves. Okay. Okay, but just don't say you're going to die again. Okay, I won't die. Promise me that we let the prince marry you. I promise, but you will not die. Okay. You won't die. <laughs> My prince, I have requested that we see because of what I've been hearing. It does appear that you don't understand the workings of the royal family very well. I want you to understand that you don't have to do everything by yourself. Good I think God has made it in such a way that other people will always do them for you. Ranging from washing, bathing, even brushing your teeth. People should do them for you. Is it applicable in everything? Of course, my prince. Even the food you eat. Okay, you know I am your project supervisor. In course of defending your project, were you there to do it? No. Of course, no. Yet, the project was defended. That is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. We are talking about marriage here. My life partner. Of course, my prince. Yes. All you need to do is to settle down, beget children, and leave the rest. They will all be taken care of. Look, my prince. Princes and kings are ordained by God, so nobody questions their authority. Maybe that is why the Christian's holy book in Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 says, I quote, Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say to him, What doest thou? <laughs> Unquote. Now, I will give you an instance. The prince of Bathen married not because he loved his wife, but because he has to. A prince of Cyprus did the same. In fact, his parents chose a bride for him. Yours shouldn't be different, my prince. Time, they say, wait for no one, including princess. something I'm asking you is it me you talking to like this are there two of you there are there two of you there wait a minute who do you even think you are because you're a prince you think you can misbehave as you choose oh because I'm in love with you that's why you want to take advantage of me leave this house right now Ikwe, 
Has something come over you? Nothing has come over me. Rather, something has come over you. How could you just badge you like that? You couldn't even knock on the door. Leave this house! His Royal Majesty, leave this house. I'm talking to you, I said leave! Don't make me push. Don't make me push you with your royal attire. Leave now. Oh! Rubbish. Oh, Your Majesty. Mommy, I don't know what happened. Everything happened so fast. It was like a dream. All of a sudden, I, I started calling him names. Isigini, you called him names. Were you drunk or something? I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Mommy, I wasn't drunk. I wasn't. You have to relax. I mean, in as much as I want to marry the prince, I cannot forget the fact that I'm a woman and I have my pride and dignity. I can't forget that. What has pride and dignity got to do with this? In matters like this, pride and dignity are thrown to the winds. In fact, there's even no point banding words here with you. First thing tomorrow morning, you're going back to that palace. Make sure you beg the prince. If he means rolling yourself on the floor, do that so that he accepts you back. If not, don't even bother stepping your feet back into this house. Mommy, how do I start? Start from where you start. Start from anywhere. Go back and beg him. Kneel down, roll your feet. I don't, I don't want stories though. I don't want you to miss that prince. I've said my own. Pride and dignity. Exactly like your father. So because you took after his complexion, that is the reason why you should be behaving like him. This was how he was busy retrogressing while others were progressing. Like father, like daughter. Pride and dignity. Pride and dignity, my foot. What don't come go to Sheba, Paul? So poor. Pride and dignity. Ike, don't you think that this issue is being overflowed? Why must it be that prostitute? Mother. Please, with all due respect, I think you need to watch the way you speak. Because our people say, if your foot slips, you can always recall your balance. But if your tongue slips, you cannot recall your words. Please. Unless I have ceased to be the queen of this kingdom. But as long as I am still the queen, fear is not in my dictionary. That thing is not coming into this palace. Mother, there's a lot of pressure on me. A lot of pressure on me. Can't you see it? I understand you want me to settle down and have children. Igwe wants the same thing. But you need to see that the girl in question doesn't even want to marry me. And even if she did, you should have seen the way she addressed me in front of the guards and the maidens. And I know that if she comes into this palace, all respect due me will be lost. So please don't say no to what I'm asking. Which is? I need some time to myself. I need to get out. In fact, I will travel, rediscover myself, just so I don't make a mistake. Igwe. Igwe. Talk to him. Let him forget about this travel and face reality. I mean, what would people say if they, if they heard that a commoner disgraced him? A commoner insulted him? What would they say? Igwe, I think I have to personally go and warn her. Because it's not done. <laughs> Your Majesty, this has got to be spiritual. I mean, all of a sudden, I lost my senses. And I started using very abusive words on the prince. How could I, Your Majesty, how could I come and insult the prince of this land? Mercy. I beg for mercy. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. Honestly, I'm sorry. I've heard you. Even without you saying it, I knew. My son, the prince, has traveled. Look for a way to sort your spiritual problem out. I will, Your Majesty. I will, Your Majesty. Uh, your Highness. Igwe. Just do as the Queen has advised. I will, Your Highness. Really? 
Let's go to the parlor upstairs now. No, no, please. I don't want your mother to see me. My mother is not in the parlor upstairs. In fact, she is not at home. So let's go. I, I'm okay. I don't want to go. Let me just stay here, please. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. As I was saying, the whole thing started like a drama. Your mother just took me into the kitchen and warned me not to step out or step into the sitting room. Because if I do, she will remind me of the day I stepped my foot in the lion, the lion's den. I was confused. I, I didn't know what to make of it, but listen, Egwi, I just want bygones to be bygone. I want us to be friends again. Let's throw the trash can in the past. Ebele, I'm happy you've realized your mistake and you've retraced your step. If I don't forgive you, that means I'm the devil. Besides, we've come a long way, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, how is Mommy! Oh. Yeah? What are you doing in my house? Eh? A way to which hey. devil? Have I not warned you not to step your feet into this house again? Eh? No. Eh? What? Mommy, go! Leave my house! Mommy, now. Make uh -uh. sure to shut up! I, have, I don't want to ever see that girl step her feet in, in this house again. Mommy, she has apologized now. She has repented. Make sure you are not. Again, baby. Look, look beyond your nose. That girl has cast an evil spell on you. That's why you were rude to the priest. <laughs> Come and be chug on us, sister. See, eh? If I catch you going behind me to see her, you see what I'll do to you. I don't ever want to see her. In fact, she's banished from this house.
I prayed for the master sergeant Doe in Liberia, and the school became successful. <laughs> Only even the president of Afghanistan, <laughs> she came to me and I prayed for him. <laughs> his rigging became his winning. He is now the president. <laughs> Only I prayed for Osama bin Laden. <laughs> As I speak with you, nobody can find him. There was a woman, she came to me. Her husband was so rich and was oppressing her. I prayed for her. That woman became rich. Hey, it's you. As I speak to you today, the husband watches her panties. Eh? Uh -huh. Only. Hey. Your daughter here. I prayed for her, and the prince proposed to her. Of course. My prayer is an intercession. So even if you give me the whole world, I don't think it is too much. Man of God, just give me a second. Holy! Talking. Only? I have it. Only? For your fuel, eh? just manage it. I will call you soon. <laughs> you will see me soon. You will see me soon. Only? God bless you, sir. <laughs> God bless you. I will call you very soon. This way. Because what you will not see, standing on the highest Iroko tree, I, your mother, I will see it sitting right on the floor. Mommy, I still have my reservations about everything that man said. Will you shut up? What do you mean by that? Meaning I've known Iberi for a very long time, but she doesn't strike me like someone that will do a thing like that. Look, I don't ever want to hear that girl's name mentioned in this, in this house again. You have to be wise though. You have to be wise as a serpent. I hope you remember the Bible verses that the man of God said. Psalm 59 and Psalm 90. Good. Eh? 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 Will I say you guys on the slack? On a meat today very high. Because I hear say, the meat where they come, Ajaki. Day! Me, I don't be more more. This is how we see. Don't tell. Where you not tell? What tea? Baba, increase. You play say no, no, your voice again. Even without this thing, me day. A day, kakaraka, no shaking. Nothing they happen. I trust you, my guys. And I hear say the, the girl on her nurse. I say she's savvy too. Oh, boy. I hate nurses with passion. They are known for their wickedness and hostility. Baba, increase. Jump down. You know that. You know that well, well. They told the best in public. They're going to squeeze down their face and see them in rage. They're going to feel as if they're unapproachable. But my true confession is saying, this thing, what they take. I'm going to make sure I go offload everything inside that. Not that. Yeah, I trust my man. Go and fetch the game. I'm going to take one first now. You don't understand. I'm always supposed to spend money. I don't go with the man. The man don't go. What do you think? What do you want? What do you think? Relax. You go still pay the money. How? The man don't want. I don't 
좋아해 주고 싶어서. 야, 제. six months ago, and every attempt to phone him. I mean, the result is nothing to write home about. He came, he's okay. How are we sure that he's not married a white woman? I, 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 st I still believe we made a terrible mistake not to have allowed him to marry a woman of his choice. Anyway, he came, has not married a white woman. Hmm? I spoke with him last night. You, you, you spoke with him last night? Yes. Now, how was he? Was he excited? Igwe, excitement is not the main issue. The most important thing is that he is coming back to marry his wife. There's absolutely no way we will allow him marry a prostitute or an armed robber into this kingdom. No! Igwe, things like this shouldn't get you worked up. Just, it's okay, just take some fruit. Don't let little things like that get you worked up. Igwe! Igwe! Come on, just... Just 
long live His Majesty. I hope my husband is going to be well, Doctor. Your Majesty, his BP is very high. Very, very high. Why should it be? I don't know. We were talking and all of a sudden he started shouting, his heart, his heart, his heart. From every indication, it does appear that his Majesty is too callous with his health. Oh, yes. But is he going to be fine? Mm, well, sure, he's going to be okay, he's going to be okay. But I'm still wondering why he should run BP in the first place. You know, considering his status and all that, you know. But it's okay, it's okay. I have administered the necessary medications. So he's under check, eh? I just have to leave you for now. Let me check on the other questions. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. Your Majesty, um, there is no need to grieve. Everything is under control. His Majesty will come back hell and hearty. Can't you see the ancestors? They are all happy. In fact, his hospitalization is the beginning of the good things that we soon end of the entire kingdom. Uh, Nkume, please, I need assurance. Osi beri tobo, osi gane Nkume, son of Agada de Grecia. Your Majesty, he has gone to come back in a mighty way. Rejoice and be glad. May our ancestors be praised. He said, Nkume is always at your service. Nkume, thank you. Your Majesty. Mboroma, Mbe Bala. Anya Kei Jezerabo. Who would want to eat tonight? I guess. Like this, what happened to you? Um, some men kidnapped me and took me to an uncompleted building. Uh, eh? Kidnapped you and took you to an uncompleted building. Hi! Oh my god. <laughs> then what happened? Did that do anything to you? What happened? Oh, I don't know what happened. But I was brought before a man. The man asked them to release me. That was how I came back. Brought you before a man in an uncompleted building. Jesus! Jesus! How? Oh. Hey. I know it. I know it. I can bet my life on this that it is Equi and Carol that are behind this atrocity. Hey! I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it in nine. Hey! I did not know that Carol is evil personified. Oh. I didn't know. If no now. Ten Kobo himself. Mama Tinka. You're too much. Mama Tinka. Please sit down. <laughs> Tinka, Mama. So, how did it go? <laughs> Mama. Don't do eh. The deal is done. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. You needed to see how she was brutal. <laughs> 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 
take over himself. I'm sure You're the baddest guy in town. I'm sure she won't forget that in a hurry. Okay. So, where is she now? <laughs> I don't know. She could be anywhere. All I know is that wherever she is now, she will be under fire. As a matter of fact, we had to take some pictures of the action. <laughs> Are you serious? Thin dead mama. Thank Kobo, you're no, too much. No, hey, mama. you took snapshots of her. So, can I see the pictures? Not so fast, mama. Why? The pictures are gonna cost you some money. Say, a hundred grand. Oh, no problem, small problem. Let me just have the pictures. I'll get you the money. No, mama, things are not done that way. You go get the money, I go get the pictures. Okay, no problem. I'll get to the money. <laughs> Take cover himself. The mama tinted. You're a main man. Mama. You're too much. <laughs> Let me get the money. Tinted. <laughs> Stupid girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, I think you are uh, you okay. In fact, you are this child. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, he's good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. Let us thank God. Because he's the one who does all these things. Mm. Now I must confess, the treatment I've got, got in the, this hospital this time has been absolutely fantastic. Totally. Something to treasure for the rest of my life. And the care and attention is something else. Oh, especially from this nurse. Oh, that girl? Yes. Wonderful girl. Oh. Honestly, wonderful. she's one of the best nurses I've ever worked with. Oh, so, yeah, sure. Selfless, intelligent, wonderful, too good, I mean. Indeed, doctor. She's a wonderful person. Oh, uh, yes. You can say that again. I mean, a child who respects and adores great people paves the way for her own greatness. Oh, yes. yes. Why not? Absolutely. Why not? Absolutely. Doctor, I wish I could just see her. So that I, I'll tell my son to say thank you to her for taking good care of me. <laughs> oh, and let me fetch her. Let me fetch her. I, I'm sure that if not for my good qualities, my husband would have just proposed to her. Oh, <laughs> come on, <laughs> my just Let me fetch her. <laughs> <laughs> on a more serious note, anyway, if the prince had brought somebody like that girl, I wouldn't have objected. Oh, mother. As if you read my mind. I mean, if he comes home with a, with a girl of that quality, oh, then I shall say, let me go and join my ancestors in peace. Because my son will be able to take care of the kingdom. <laughs> Good day, sir. I'm looking for love True love I'm looking for love Mama, I have to go, Papa I will call you when I get there I'm going, Mama, I will call you Why are you taking the back door now? I never grow cold I'm looking for someone to be Devoted just to me I'm looking for love I'm not looking for gold I'm not looking for silver I'm just looking for an ordinary girl Where can I find her? Oh. Hey, Billy. Come. Come, my dear. How are you? How are you? Don't worry, I understand your plight, but everything will be fine, okay? Where are your parents? Let's go. Ah, 
Peace be unto this family. Majesty, we have come in peace. Our mission is general. I know you're a Bella's mother, and um, I'm sure this must be Bella's uncle. Huh? He's my husband. No, I mean a Bella's father's brother. Your Majesty, he's my lovely husband. Uh, forgive my 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 curiosity, but I I thought your husband was dead. Your Majesty. Where is this question coming from? Never mind. Hey, Chief, we are here for good. For what? Like the Queen has said, we came in peace. Uh, uh, there is an apple we saw in your compound, and we are desirous to pluck it. In fact, this apple is your daughter. A better. Frankly speaking, it won't work out. I, I understand your fear, but you don't need to entertain any fear. Everything will be taken care of. My brother. You don't understand those people very well. I don't want to endanger the life of my only daughter. See? I know those people to be very mean. Very mean. Secondly, you know our background. You are fabulously rich. Why we are poor. So, I don't see how it can fit in. Papa, my mother has assured you, and I want to swear by my life, that no harm will come to you or your family, not by anyone living or dead within this kingdom. That will be my responsibility. And concerning our background, I don't think it should be an issue because I am the one coming for your daughter and not the other way around. Hmm. My son, you are talking this way because it pleases you. On the contrary, Papa, I'm speaking this way because I think it pleases God. It is His will. With God on our side, we can conquer. Papa, please. Please. Don't deny me this opportunity. Well, the truth of the matter is that I'm not the one you're going to marry. So, a belly is here. Belly is here. She's old enough to speak for herself. A belly. Yes, Papa. Looking for a love that forever will be true I'm looking for a love every morning will be new I'm looking for someone to care Someone sincere I'm looking for love True love I'm looking for someone to have and to hold I'm looking for a love that will never grow cold I'm looking for someone to be Devoted just to me I'm looking for love True love I'm not looking for gold I'm not looking for 
for silver I'm just looking for an ordinary girl Where can I find her? Why did your God's word everybody buff like that? All of them are for security reasons. They are my people, but your prince needs to be safe. Hope you understand. And uh, now that I have seen you, I am never going to let you go ever again. Because the last time that we met and you took off, I thought I would never see you again. Uh, um. The pressure from Ekri and her mother was just too much. I, I, I decided to be on my But own. destiny has brought us together again. We were destined to be together. I mean, if it wasn't for my father's sickness, we wouldn't be here today. I remember I used to be the one to convince them about you. Now, they are the one telling me about your good deeds, your humane nature, how good you are, saying good things about you. It's funny, I am sure a blind man in this kingdom of ours would be able to see how humane you are if he could see it. To me, you, you are like a jewel very precious and like I said I'm never gonna let you go again can I get your hand what for just give me your hand and and close your eyes Not work. What about Equi? Is she not good for you? Besides, she told me you guys have fixed a marriage date. Who told you so? I've just come back from a vacation. I left because of this. I wanted to think straight. I didn't want to make another mistake. I'm back. And she's the last person I want to hear about or speak about. She should go to her mother and learn manners. Because for me, she's too arrogant and too pompous. Marriage is not about that. It's not about trial and error. Then you train her. There is no perfect woman. Caution her, mold her into what you want her to be. You just need to understand me. She is not my type of girl. Let's go now, please. You're running off. I realized why the king was asking me if Papa was my uncle. Uh -huh. My daughter. My ears are itchy. Mama, do you know that Ekri and her mother told the prince that both of us are into prostitution? Jesus Christ! Hey, hey. And that we practice it in, um, what's this city? Asia. They said our irresponsible behavior made Papa start running BP and got them um, stroked up. Hey, Mama, they also said that we ran away, abandoned Papa, and someone else that is not Papa died. God forbid. Hey, this world is full of misery. My so-called best friend. Mm -hmm. God. Why can't somebody be trusted any longer? But I told you. But you never care to listen. Now you've seen it with your eyes. Hi. 
I had mm. earlier told that you have no problem as my wife. But the only problem is your relationship with that woman. So <laughs> she wants me dead. Ah, God forbid. Back to sender. Amen. 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 But all these are past days now. My dear. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me, how did it go? The prince proposed to me, and I said no. Come on. Why? Mama, Ekwi is my best friend. If I should accept the proposal, people will say I stabbed her in the back. Who is your best friend? John! Ekwi. That girl who doesn't want you alive. Hey. If she has got an opportunity, she will have killed you off. Don't you know? A word is enough for the wise. Thank you. Mama, I came to see you because I know you can be of great assistance to me. Speak to her on my behalf, please. My Prince, what you're asking of me is something I know that I'm not supposed to involve myself to. You see, marriage is something that is supposed to be between people that are involved and not third party. You see, I, I suggest you talk to her and see if you can win her heart. Hmm? I have, Mama. I've spoken to her, and that is why I came to see you. Because my mother told me that the easiest way to a lady's heart is through her mom. Please, talk to her for me. I will never forget the favor. I will not let you down. I will never let her down either. I can promise you that. Well, I'll talk to her. She's my daughter. Mm -hmm. I'll try and talk to her. Thank you. You're welcome. Mama, I will never forget this favor. I will always remember this favor. I will always remember you. And I will never, ever let her down. I'll talk to her. Thank you. Can you where they come from? Holy Ghost fire, pursue them. Holy Ghost. Hey! Holy Ghost fire, pursue them. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire, pursue them. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire, pursue them. Holy Ghost. Woman. Man of God. Don't have to panic. Don't worry yourself. Even if they like, let them go to Saudi and come back. Let them share the invitation and come back. The prince will not wait anybody except the queen. <laughs> Man of God, I believe you. What can I do without you? Holy! God bless you. Um, what Psalms shall we read this time? Holy! Forget about Psalms. Don't read any psalm. Just go home. Sleep like a baby. <laughs> the battle is between them and me. <laughs> Holy! God does not build his temple. In vain, the laborers labor. Holy! The Lord has built his temple. And now the Lord commanded you to provide 250,000 for the refill. Holy! Holy! Uh, that will not be a problem at all. 
Um, first thing tomorrow, I'll send to you a check of 250,000 If this thing works, <laughs> man of God, I will surprise you. Holy! Doubting Thomas, doubting Thomas. Mother and daughter, doubting. Mother and daughter, doubting. You doubt the Lord. Why do you doubt the Lord? Uh, uh, pardon me, man of God. Uh, it's the slip of tongue. Holy! Holy! Holy Ghost, fire, pursue them. Holy Ghost. You found favor in the sight of God. Really? You are that special woman the Lord is talking about. The Lord showed me. <laughs> My God. The Lord commanded that you buy me a car. Within one week, you will change my car. I'll, I'll do something about it. Holy! Now stand up. Say holy three times. Holy! Holy! Hmm? Holy! 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 You can go. Remember. Change my car within one week. Okay. My car. Holy Ghost, I have pursued them. Holy Ghost. It is only a patient man who gets to taste the milk of a barren cow. The ways of the gods is not the way of man. You know, I am beginning to get even more convinced that the sickness that struck me was not accidental, but design. Yes, because you're right, Dad. I mean, if I had not fallen ill on that fateful day, then you probably would not have met that girl. Now that we've found the girl of our choice, yes. what next? Ah. <laughs> Is it not better for us to fix a date for the wedding? Absolutely. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, we will. Your Majesty. Ah, uh, when I was saying that the end was in sight, nobody seemed to believe me. When I said that a lot of others have to be crossed, I was seen as a drunk. When I said that the whole ancestors were happy, you never believed one bit. But my happiness today is that I've been vindicated. Well, I never doubted you for a moment. Never. I always stood by you because your father served me diligently and dutifully. Well, Your Majesty, um, whether somebody doubted Nkome or not, I think that's very secondary. What is very important now is that this great kingdom has found its future queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, <welcome. laughs> Hold up, I encountered on the way. You will not believe it. Hold up. What cost it? The princess wedding to a belly. The, the princess what? Yes. Mommy, you mean the prince has finally settled for a belly? They have wedded. They have wedded. <laughs> what? No, you see, you see, you see. You're the cause of
of this thing, oh, to the cause of this thing. And what do you mean by that? If you are taking things easy with him, I should have been. Will you shut up now? now? I slapped the living daylight out of you. What do you mean that you're the one that caused it? Look at you, exactly like your father. His blood runs in your veins. Just the same attitude. That was why he was not made the bank manager before he died. You, you want to blame me? If you are not worked out on the prince, he would have married you before he travelled. You did. And he has gotten married to the same girl that I warned you about. You didn't listen to me. That useless girl. That witch. She has used the charm to seduce the prince into marrying her. You don't want to blame me. Just, just imagine you. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I let you down, but you have to help me. I mean, there's got to be a way forward. Mommy, look at me. I think royalty. I breathe royalty. Mm. I dress royalty. I even talk royalty. And then royalty escaped you. Okay, I'm really sorry. But you can't let her take him away from me now. You have to help me, mother, please. Come. My daughter. When the going gets tough, tough people get going. Yes. Tough people don't relent until they get to their final destination. Abraham Lincoln never did, till he became the president of America. <laughs> My dear, just relax. Except I'm not your mother. It's just what I can do. Just relax, let me think of something. Mommy, what are we going to do? thinking about you. Well, I'm just thinking how very fulfilled I am. Because there is nothing enjoyable to a man knowing that he has a very worthy and befitting wife. Yeah. My love. You will not believe how fulfilled I am. You know, I never knew things would work out this way. I feel like I have the whole world in my pocket. <laughs> what is going on here? What do you want? Please, Your Majesty, I came to ask your forgiveness. Forgive me, Your Majesty. Please have mercy on me. God. You brought her here. Now, if I blink my eye, Abby, if I just blink my eye, Abby, I'm not asking that you let me into the palace again. I'm only asking that you forgive me. To err is human and to forgive is divine. I've turned a new leaf. I'm a changed person now. Please, I beg you. Please, Your Majesty, Abby, please. Um, sweetheart, please, let's, let's take it easy with her. No, let me handle this. Let me handle this. Get her out of here. Your Majesty. Get her out of this palace. Your Majesty. Out of the palace. Just explain what. Out! Just go. God, she has. Walking in here. I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive her. My dear, this is somebody who doesn't want any good to come your way. This is somebody who wish that you were dead. And you're asking me to forgive her? I know what you're talking about. I understand all that you're saying. But remember that this girl is my childhood friend. And obviously without her, you wouldn't have seen me. She says she has repented. Why don't you just believe her? Besides, I know her mother really influenced her because when this whole thing started, I suspected that there was something behind it. Okay, so you're saying her mother convinced her. And what, what, what is the assurance that she's not going to do it the second time, that her mother will not influence her again? Besides, the king and queen would not hear of this. Honey, the 
Ekwe I know. Once she says anything, she means it. Ekwe sticks to her word. She says she's sorry. She has repented. Let us just let her be. Please, let's forgive her. About the king and the queen, I'll, I'll talk to them about it. Can we change the topic? No, yeah, please. How's the baby? It's here. How does it look? Ah, ah, Mama, what's that? A princess, please. Hey. For people's. No, no, no. You go back. For people's. Hey. Sorry. You know, the devil works in mysterious ways. I don't know what overwhelmed me. I was totally deceived by the devil. If not for anything else. For all time's sake, uh, please forgive us. Please stand up. Stand up now. Get up. We are not even worthy to beg for your forgiveness. Mama, please get up. Help me stand up. I, I feel embarrassed. You shouldn't be. As it is now, you can do to us anything uh, you want to, but please tamper justice with mercy. Okay, I have heard. Just get up. Get have up. you forgiven us? In fact, I've talked to the prince, the queen, and the king about you. Here yeah, they say you can come to the palace anytime you want. You're free to come to visit me. <laughs> God bless you. Okay. I'm everyone. It's all right. Okay, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. Mama, it's okay. Mama, it's okay. Mama, it's okay. Stop begging. Oh. Thank you. See, I told you to always have a kind heart like she has. Mama, please, let's look for something okay. light and do this to you. It's okay, let's take it. <laughs> Honestly, honey, Equi has done a lot for me. Seriously. Hey, hey, hey. But I have to say it. Go ahead, I'm all ears. Equi helped me a lot oh, financially. You know, she really did a lot for me. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah? You know what I mean. Yeah, I, I do know what you mean. <laughs> Carry on, I'm listening. I think I'm catching it. Well, Your Majesty, if not for the princess here, I would have had carryovers in almost all my courses. Because she helps me write my exams, my quizzes, and even my tests without letting me know. Uh, uh, what are friends for? What are we are friends now? Okay, from what I'm understanding here, Seems like both of you were very good friends back in school. You were like sisters. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, Your Highness, she was and still is my best friend. Okay, that's nice. Well, if my lovely wife here says that you are her best friend, then you're very much welcome here. Whenever you want to come here, the doors are open. The palace is well yours. Thank you very much, Your Majesty, for welcoming me into your palace. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Honey, let me take her to meet the queen. I'll join you shortly, okay? As I was saying, please, I need you to help me employ him. Please. See, I've heard you. But my husband traveled. I don't know how he's going to see it when he gets back. Hey, Billy, my mother trained that boy right from his childhood. I just want him to have something doing. That's all. Please. Okay, but, but what do I tell my husband when he gets back? Tell him he's my cousin. Mm -mm. Tell him he's your cousin. He's your husband. He loves you so much. He has no reason to doubt you, Bene. He can't doubt you. No. No. I would never lie to my husband. 
Not for every dollar in U.S. I won't. I won't. Remember when I saved your ass from that teacher? Do you remember? I'm asking you as a favor. Please, do it for me. This is hard for me. Okay, oh, okay. Let him come. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. Cheers. My love, if I could carry the pregnancy for you, I would carry it. Just to make sure you rest. I see how tiring it can get. <laughs> My heart, you have a morbid sense of humor. You can't possibly carry this for me. I bet you it's a break. Oh, wow. Yes. <clears throat> Your Highness, the food is getting cold. Yes. Oh, the aroma is fantastic. I actually prepared it myself. Equi is one of the best chefs I've come across. Yeah. What is this? What's wrong if it is from yours? Just go get your food. I don't feel like it. Can I have my fork? Mm -hmm. Oh, water. Let me get you. Water. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> My love. Here. There is something different about her. I think she has changed, right? Her character. Her dressing. She told you. Echo is my childhood friend. Okay? I know her very, very well. She has changed. Alright then, it's your food. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> God. Yes, Your Majesty. And call me that young man. Which of them, Your Majesty? Yeah, this uh, tall uh, fellow. Okay, the new guy. I hear you are my daughter-in-law's um, cousin. Yes, Your Majesty. I've heard so much about you. And um, I've been watching you go about your work. I'm impressed. Thank you, Your Majesty. Now, I want you to take charge and take care of the king's bedroom and the prince's bedroom. I'm most honored, Your Majesty. You may go. And, um, Keep up the good work. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, your servant is troubled. Doom. Doom everywhere. Doom looms in the air, Your Majesty. So, uh, where is this doom and uh, when is the doomsday? <laughs> Your Majesty, Nkume is not seeing clearly. It is hazy. Uncertainty. Uncertainty lies ahead. Something calamitous is about to befall this kingdom. Your Majesty, make consultations with the gods. It will be very shameful if they sit, sit and watch while we are being made a laughing stock. It is said that an elder cannot be in the house 
and the goat is left to deliver in her tether. I need positive answers. Your Majesty, uncertainty. Uncertainty covers certainty, Your Majesty. Ah, I still cannot see clearly. My goodness. Does it mean the gods have forsaken me? My gods, where are you? Come to my rescue. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> Made possible by you. What well, with you by my side? <laughs> Ow! What? Ow! What is it? That was painful. It's <laughs> him. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Careful. Careful. this in my bedroom? What's the meaning of this? I demand to know what the meaning of this is! Johannes, I'm so sorry. Hebe and I have been doing this long before I came into this palace. What? She lied to you about the pregnancy. I'm actually responsible for it too much. I small courage to do it because she used to be my girlfriend and we were actually meant to get married. subject to you underneath her power. And whatever she says, she will not argue with her, your highness. I did not do it! Stop! I did not do it! Are you mad? Why are you doing this to me? God! Your highness, I'm sorry. Your God! Your majesty, caution is the watch word. We really have to take it easy. We don't have to be hasty about it, Thank you, May. I'm sorry to disappoint you. For the first time, I am going to say no. The evidence is overwhelming. Now I'm beginning to believe the saying that all that glitters is not gold. I mean, who would have believed that a better would come this cheap? God, take her away. Take her away. And I don't want to ever see your face anywhere near this man. Take her away. They have set my eyes on Ekwi in that palace. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Baba Mikonu! I'm sorry! Hey! Ebele, will this your Biko bring back the prince? Or will he reverse what you've been accused of? Hey! Ebele! Trying to help a friend. You are trying to help a friend. You see, you are trying to help a friend. Where's that friend? The first day I got the news of your reconciliation with Equi and the mother. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Even before then, what was my opinion about them? 
even before then. Abele, why are you always falling prey to cheat? Egwe. Why? Egwe. Oh, 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 honestly, I don't know where I'm coming from. I don't know where I'm coming from at all. And as for you, Mama Ebele, as for you, I have nothing to say. I know where it's now. Because you started all these things. You started it. You started it. Let us consider her. You know she's our only child. You see, if you pick up a child with the left hand, you still pull him back with the right hand. Even if the whole world rejects her, you can never reject her. Mm -hmm. I've heard that before. Even if the whole world hates her, we cannot reject her. Eh? If you beat up a child with that hand, you bring her back with the left hand. Every day, every day, every day, every day. How many times will I repeat myself? How many times in this house? How many times? Just tell me. foolish man cries over spilled milk. I feel really terrible about what my friend did to you. Honestly, I feel bad. How, what was she thinking? I mean, what in her wildest dream was she thinking bringing her school boyfriend into the palace? Immediately I set my eyes on that boy. I recognized him. That was why I left the palace. As I do not want to be part of such sacrilege. It's, it's terrible. I mean, it's awful. So why didn't you notify the prince? My Majesty, you forget I have a bad record in the palace already. Who will believe me? Do not forget that a stone is thrown in rage. It never hits a bird. The most worrisome is the charm. Ebele never believed in such things. She never did, even while we're in school. She was a good girl. A pregnancy cannot be aborted once the baby is born. This is what your seeming cautiousness has caused me. Your Majesty, I'm sorry, but you should still consider her. She is your wife. And even if the whole world would desert her, not you. All said, I think you should eat something. Oh, you look awful. You look terrible. Should I ask the steward to get you something to eat or should I get it myself? He's only a foolish man that will go chasing a rat when his house is on fire. We don't need to live on food. Well, Your Majesty, I still insist you eat something. In fact, I'm going to get it myself. I'm going to get you something to eat. Oh. <sighs> Darling. Oh. Majesty. Um, I was wondering if you let me realize some mistakes. She comes to ask forgiveness. I want to implore you to please forgive her. She's a good girl. Did you just say that? God forbid! Did you just say that? Oh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Let me get you something to eat. I'm so sorry. Daughter, you see, I told you to be very patient. So, what is happening now? Mommy, you are one in a million. Henceforth, I will never argue with you. My goodness, anything you say is an authority. Mm. It stands. My dear, if you continue to listen to me, your mother, you're not ever going to have problems with anything concerning marriage. I know. You know I'm an authority in marriage matters. I trust you, mommy. I trust you. <laughs> I really think you, mommy. I'll come, mommy. Cheers. Cheers, mommy. Thank you. I am so happy. <laughs> eh? So, my dear, you have to rise and possess a position. I'm already possessing it. <laughs> but this time around, 
you better use your number six. Hmm? No mistakes this time around. Once beaten, twice shy. I won't forget. <laughs> I'm kind of work. Cheers, mom. Cheers, my darling. Thank you. Mm. Your Highness, I went to the new palace, I didn't see you, so I decided to come here. I am here in respect of your wife. God forbid that even in my madness, I will look at that thing and call her my wife. Your Highness, even if you don't want to see her because of what she's been accused of, at least you see her because of the bomb baby, your baby. Don't be funny, woman. We all know that the pregnancy belongs to a palace guard who's been fired. You may leave now. Your Highness, remember all your promises. You will say you say you always stand by her, come rain, come shine. That you will always be with her. This is your promise, is your highness. Please come and see her, please. Please, your highness. God. See her. Your highness. I am done. Don't touch me. Move. I'll go on my own. My sweet daughter, sexy umwa. Hmm. Amama asarumo. This one that you are radiating. This smile is written all over you. Tell your mother. Has he finally proposed? No. No. Mommy, I want us to take things easy. Don't forget, we lost him the first time because we're so much in the haste. Ha! Hey, queen. Have you watched this? Are you out of your mind? What are you talking about? Being hasty. Mom, you have to make the prince propose to you immediately. Mom, eh? mom, mom. But I just really think we should be cautious. You're being cautious and stupid. Don't you know that whoever that does not look forward remains behind? Oh, so you want the same stick that poke you in the eye to do so again? My dear, there's no time to waste though. There's no time to waste at all. If that chicke man goes to that palace to square, we are in trouble. The consequences is something that we will not like at all. So my daughter, you have to hurry up. Anyhow, you want to do it. Seduce him, cajole him, talk him into romance. Anyhow, deceive him, confuse him into marrying you. Please, there's no time to waste. Ha -ha. Why are you behaving like this now? There's no time to waste. Okay, mommy, okay. So what is the next line of action now? Don't worry. Hmm? You should trust me. Trust your mother. I will madam tinted. And I'm a tinted. I have to think of something to do. Just relax, okay? Abang mamu. Amali chan. Mama. See, very soon now you become a the queen. The prince's wife. Ah, Ekwe, how are you? I actually have very good news for you. Really? Mm -hmm. My ears are itching. Speak. I'm going to be traveling to Geneva very soon. 
Geneva? Yes. What for? Well, I just got a letter, United Nations, I just got employed, and I have to resume work as soon as possible. <laughs> Is that what you call wonderful news? Yes, yes, Your Majesty. Equi, please, come and sit. Your Majesty, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Equi, I've been meaning to tell you this, but I was actually waiting for the right time. How would you feel if you became the next queen of this great kingdom? Forget about what happened in the past. I don't understand you, Your Majesty. My son, the prince, is single now. Yes, yes. And I want you to marry him. God forbid, Your Majesty. No. Ebele is my best friend. I know she misbehaved, but I can't do anything to hurt her. I can't, Your Majesty. Look, we don't be a fool. Think. If you think properly, you will know that that seat was originally yours. Though she skimmed her way through. You will not doubt, Your Majesty. We mustn't pay evil for evil. I, I, I can't. I don't want you to rush into conclusion here. I want you to go home and sleep over it. Okay? I'm so sorry. I, Your Majesty, I'll just talk to my mother to know what she thinks about this because I'm in a very tight corner now. Very well then. I, I should take my leave, honestly. I'm, I'm shaking. I... My regards to your mother. I will, I will. Send for me. Yes. One does not know the value of what one has until one loses it. Ever since the ugly incident, Equi has been coming here to console you. Why can't you propose to her? Mother. I do not want to repeat the same mistake twice. But you cannot wait endlessly. Equi is everything a woman should be. Remember she is the one you would have married in the first place. She is everything a woman should be and yet she is not married. Our people say if you see a horse with a saddle on, you don't sit on it because you don't know what happened to its owner. Mother, I cannot bear to make the same mistake twice. <sighs> Only if you had listened to me. Only if you had listened to me, you would have settled down with her. But no, you just wanted to satisfy your curiosity. He came. She'll be thinking of how to go and see her mother. We really humiliated her. And this explains why I'm here, that I have the strong belief in me that this young lady is innocent. I know, of course, that there is, there is overwhelming evidence but I just want us to give her a second chance I want I want us to give her the chance to prove her innocence your majesty she's not she's not only my son's wife she has become the wife of the family 
a very happy family. We loved her. Reverend Father, the evidence before us is overwhelming. And you know about all this. I, I, I know. I find it extremely difficult to believe that she will insist on her ridiculous uh, story. Reverend Father, you saw the evidence. You saw the witnesses. What more do, what does one want? Reverend Father, for the six or so years that I've known you, I have never refused you anything. I'm afraid on this occasion, I will have to say no. Okay, it's okay, Your Majesty. Uh, I know that we are not God. I know that the only person, the only authority that has power to prove people right or wrong is God himself. And above all, I know that the same God at the fullness of time will reveal the truth to all of us. I thank you, Your Majesty. I thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Well, honestly, I am so very sorry for... Well, I just wanted you to know how very sorry I am for my actions. If it did cause you any embarrassment to you and your family, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I have forgiven you. Before you even opened your mouth to talk, I had already forgiven you. Eh? But if I tell you that your actions did not... Uh, cause depression for my daughter, I will be lying. I told you, but I know that my daughter's hands are clean. I know that a day like this will come, then she'll be vindicated. You see? Mommy, let's forgive the prince. I think he has come back to his senses. Mm -hmm. I'm forgiving you. Thank you. Prince, prince, I know that you and my daughter are destined for each other. You see? <laughs> Don't worry, yeah, no problem. Hey, Prince, Prince. <laughs> the Prince himself. <laughs> you hear what uh, Nkume said? Yes, Your Majesty. I heard him loud and clear. But there is something I want you to know. Which is? Since Abella left, I've never been the same. For me, it, it's better that I never started than to start and stop halfway. Oh, son, I can understand what you're saying. But I perceive your mother's reasoning in what you're saying. You have to learn not to think like a woman. Because women think, they tend to think on a straight line. I want you to feel what I am feeling. I doubt if I will ever get rid of that craving that I, that I feel for her. Where is he? Hmm. I wonder what he's doing here. Bring him in. Yes, your Highness. Come, 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 come. Oh, God, My big in law. Good afternoon. Point of correction. That was in the past. 
What brings you here? I'm here to inform your highness of the arrival of the newborn baby. Congratulations. How does that concern me? How does that concern you? Hey. I'm lost, your highness. Don't be lost. Because I have nothing to do with your daughter. Now, if you have nothing more to say, you may leave. Because my only concern now is to be with my virtuous wife and not a harlot. God, uh, get me a glass of wine. Chilled, please. Very chilled. You are calling my daughter a harlot? Remember, you once told me that God ordained marriage. Yes, I did, but I was fooled by infatuation. The scales are off my eyes now, I can see clearly. And I ask you to leave. I beg your pardon. God. Yes, your highness. Push him out. Push him out! No, no, no. I, I will move. I... Thank you. This man is a very good man. I don't know why he hates me so much. Do you know he's known for the use of charms? I'm sure he's the one that gave the charm she used to hold you back. I'm very certain. That charm can never work in this palace. Maybe in his household. The wine. The gate. If you see the type of insult I got from this, this, this braggart who called himself a prince, you pity me. Ah, you pity me. Oh. I'm not talking of anything. I'm not talking of anything. Hmm. Calm down. He really humiliated me, ordered his guards to push me out of the house. What an insult. What, what have I done? Just tell me. It's okay, Nai. If a we. I know that girl is heartless. But what I don't understand is why the prince is taking it this far. Huh? Anyway, whatever happens, I know he will never deny his own son. I blame the prince. I blame the prince. But the greater part of the blame is on you, Annabelle. If you had listened to me, if you had listened to me, I, I wouldn't have been talking all this now. You see? Calm down. Eh? Calm down, man. You're right. Honestly, you're right. But you should consider that we are human, prone to mistakes. Eh? I never knew that we are going to end up this way. I never knew. See, the good book does not support evil for evil. Rather, evil for good. And I thought we were dealing with somebody that has conscience. I never knew we were dealing with the devil himself. Eh? Hmm. Pico, no. Pico, don't go down to your own. Pico, so can I? No, no, no. Okay, no, can I? You. Come. Stand here. I greet you, my prince. Your Highness, please help me. My baby is dying. My baby is sick, please. Help me. You brought her in here? You brought her into the compound? I'm asking you a question. Sorry, Your Highness. Take her out. Take her out! Your Highness, please, I beg you. Away! I beg you, help me! Out of this compound! Help me! Away! Now you join them and make sure she never comes back in this compound.
I understand your pains, my daughter. But at this stage in your life, I want you to understand that the paramount thing for you is to think of how to train that child no matter what. I want you to look up to that boy and let him be your consolation. Father, Father, I understand what you're saying. But oh God knows that I love my son very much and I am proud of him. Father, my only worry now is how to prove my innocence because everybody believes that I am guilty of what no, 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 I have no, no, been no, no, accused of. Okay. The Bible is very clear on that. It says the just shall be vindicated. You don't have to have any fear. You will be vindicated. It's all my fault. It's all my fault because I fell for her cheaply. She convinced me into accepting that that boy was my cousin. Hmm. I did not know that she had any ulterior motive. Hmm. Father, they say goodness begets goodness. But my own has cost me a million shame and sorrow. See, there is no amount of shame. There is no amount of sorrow that the heavens cannot wipe away. Come and wipe those tears. I want you to wipe those tears believing and knowing that at the fullness of time, you will be vindicated. Amen. Come on, my dear, wipe those tears. Wipe those tears believing and knowing that God himself will stand up for you. Your Majesty, Doom looms seriously in this palace. Nkume. Your Majesty. Can you just calm down and tell me the kind of danger you're talking about? Your Majesty, I don't know how it happened. But I saw somebody throwing me into the fire. The face was not clear to me. I am not certain if it's a she or a he. But, Nkume, there has to be a solution. What is the solution? Caution. Caution, Your Majesty. Everything concerning employment and recruitment has to stop. Including women? Everybody. Nkume, I hope you're not trying to indirectly stop the marriage between the prince and the Ikwi. Your Majesty, everything has to stop for now until we know where this is coming and where it's going. I don't buy this idea. Nkume, because if it is a joke, just stop it. Please. Caution. Your Majesty. Caution is the worst word. Caution. Igwe, Nkume's days in this palace are numbered. My dear, why don't you let Nkume be? Why should I? Why should I let Nkume be? When it's either he's not seen clearly or he brings one bad news. Nkume has never prophesied anything good. How am I sure that he's not the one manipulating everything? <laughs> don't even go near there. Don't. You don't seem to understand or, and appreciate the work that this, this man does for the palace. The moment he leaves, and let me, tell, let me warn you, your stay in this palace cannot be guaranteed. Yes. Did you see what happened at the palace when the prince got married to Ekwe? Hey! Did you see that? Come and see senators, politicians, business class of men. Enough to eat, drink, and be happy. I pity the former wife, Belle. Why should you pity her? She misbehaved. She stooped so low to date one of the palace kids' men. I'm not talking about the charm she brought into the palace so that the palace would become hers. Let us be honest. If I were a queen, mm -hmm. there is no way I would have gone on to marry the prince. For all time's sake. Keep quiet. Which old time's sake are you talking about? Betchiwe, this one you are saying that she stooped solo. Were you there? In your man? 
on an andoa phone. Hey, hey. Must I be there? In every room, there must be an atom of truth. No, I have to be on my way, because it's my turn to cook this evening. Bye-bye. Goodness! Hey, Billy! What are you doing here? You, move over here. Those roses are meant for royalty, not commoners. My goodness, what is wrong with you people? I'm sorry, my prince. <sighs> Don't. This maid, very silly. You know. <laughs> well. Oh, come on, Evelyn, don't look at me like that. I only took what rightfully belongs to me, the prince. Oh, Ebele, that you are no longer in the palace is not an excuse for you to, to look like this. You're dressed so cheaply, and, and the child cleaned that, the, the, the spit. And his dress, my goodness, so dirty. I know what I'm going to do. As a very good friend who loves you so much, who cares for you, I am going to give you some money so you can take care of the child. Royal child. God! Yes, princess. Bring some money. Hundred. My goodness, hey, Billy. How can you wear him such sandals? There you go. Buy some things for yourself. Oh, good boy. Go on. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Go on. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Us. You try to help the poor, they show you they are proud. Love came around and turned me upside down. It's painful, but I will never regret the things I did for love. Outside. Let them wait, let them wait. My daughter, I know you'll be wondering why I asked you to come over. Honestly, mommy, you scared me. What happened? Hey, Kui, you've changed though. You've changed. Why are you being so mean to your mother now? I, I don't understand you. What happened? You will not understand. When Ebele married the prince, her father was immediately given a car gift. Pam! Look at me now. Will my own case be different? Your husband cannot give me an ordinary SUV. To add to my fleet of cars. Mommy. I know your father's blood flows right in your veins. Because no daughter of mine that I suckled, carried in my womb, would behave this way. You have to ask, tell your husband to give your mama a car, an SUV. It's not too much now. Mommy, eh? it's okay. I'll see what I can do. When? Okay, within the week. Hey! I trust you within the week, eh? But you scared me. Go down. I have to hurry up to do something in Paris. Within the week, eh? I'm waiting to know. SUV. Father. Father, things have been so difficult for me. Especially since I lost my job. I even find it difficult to feed. I know, but, uh, you know, it's not peculiar to you alone. The, the country, the, the country has become so bad. Even the labor market is absolutely saturated. 
father. Father, I understand what you're saying. But the problem is that whenever I go in search of the job, father, as soon as I mention my name, you need to see the kind of reaction I get. They just treat me like I'm an outcast oh, or something. No. <laughs> my dear daughter, I think your problem is in patience. Um, I want you to imbibe the culture of being patient with God so that you are not like the bird who challenges his God to a duel. I have learned in my years of experience in God's kingdom that God's time, God's time is the best. You have to be patient and wait for his appointed time, my dear. Father, okay, what of my own father? Father, look at the kind of treatment that was given to him. He's even running BP now because of it. Father, why are all these things happening to me now? Maybe, maybe I should just die or give up. I'm... It's okay, it's okay. Do you know what it means to die? Don't even go there. You know, all of these feelings that you're having are plans of the devil to cause you despair. And you know the consequences frustration. And when frustration steps in, I don't have to tell you what the further consequences will be. So you must be patient with God. Hmm? Anyway, <clears throat> in order to help you uh, have some level of freedom for your job hunting, the parish council has agreed to take care of your child's feedings, uh, clothing and school needs while you go around uh, to see what God can do for you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. I can even thank you very much. God bless you. It's a lot. Thank you. Hello. It's me, Chike. What's going on? Chike, you have to take things easy with me. I am doing my best. We had an agreement. The deal was that as soon as you step your foot into that palace, everything changes automatically. I mean, it was... It seems you're not listening to me or you don't understand what I am saying. I'm saying things are difficult. It's hard. Look, ever since I stepped out of that palace, I've been sleeping in a hotel. My bill is about 400,000. How am I supposed to solve that out? See, I need this money so I can sort myself out and settle my debt. Chiki, that's too much. Chiki, that is too much. Okay. Let me see what I can do now. Next week, if I do not get my money before the end of today, you will see me in that palace. And I believe you know what that means. Chike, let me explain. I love you, right? I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> I want to ask a favor. <laughs> I know that line. Now, what does my queen want the prince to do? <laughs> hmm? oh, oh, I love you. I love you so, so much.
I need a million. Please, my love, please. What do you want to do with a millionaire? When I remember, just last week, I bought your mother the latest Prado. And then again, I gave you 650,000 Naira for your trinket box. I haven't forgotten that. And I gave you a million Naira for your building project in the village. Besides the small change that I give you here and there. What do you want to do with a million Naira? <laughs> oh, my love. Such memory. <laughs> Shopping. You see, my love, I honestly need new trinkets, royal attire. I am your wife. I need to look pretty. I need to look gorgeous. I just want to get new jewelries, dresses, you know, royal attires, so I can look lovely for you. People already envy me. They say you do so much. <laughs> I, you know I love you, right? I love you so much. Please give me the money. Please. It cannot happen. No. I will not let her liquidate this kingdom. Uh-uh. What kind of extravagance is this? If I were that extravagant, would she have met anything? But mother, she has to look good. She has to keep up the appearance. Besides, you always want a lady that is outgoing. Outgoing or not, he came. Whatever financial transaction she will make henceforth will be scrutinized by me. The way she's going, if you leave her, this kingdom will be left with nothing. Beware. Mommy, I came here for two very important reasons. And if these things are not adhered to or addressed, it may spell doom for me in the palace. Why is my princess talking like this? Are you shaking or what? Now tell mama what troubles your majesty. I am serious, mommy. I'm serious. First, it is Chiki. He demanded 400,000 naira. I gave it to him. As if that was not enough, he slept with me. Secondly, the queen. My goodness. She's beginning to choke me up. She's always talking me, complaining that I'm too extravagant. My God, they are stingy, mommy, they are stingy. I regret being in that world. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that, my daughter. That is the price you have to pay to get to the top. Don't you know that there's a price for everything? Chicken slept with you, and so bloody what? What is the big deal? Are you a baby? Are you a veggie? You've been sleeping with other men, so there's no big deal if Chike sleeps with you. That is the price you have to pay to get to your destination, my dear. And as for the queen, she's taking too much. Just leave her to me. I will put her in her proper place. Mommy, please do. And what about Chike? That one. He's a small fry. Leave them to me. Just don't worry. Go to sleep, my dear. Don't worry. Thank you so much, sweet mommy. That's my girl. Your majesty. You know I love you so much. Anything that affects you, affects me automatically. Don't worry. Everything is going to be alright. Hmm? My daughter, let me tell you something. This world that we are living in is war. It is not easy. The water you drink is war. The air that you breathe is war. You're going out and you're coming back is war. Total war. So long as you live and breathe in this world. So my dear, relax. Don't worry. Eh? There is no mercy in the jungle. It is war without end. So relax. I am not being called Madame Tinted for nothing. I got my sister as everybody. Ha, my daughter, cool down. Relax. Aquamo. I'm a lecha. Your Majesty. What about the juice you promised me when I came? Your Royal Majesty. Very soon, you will become. You can. In fact, you are going to be the queen. <laughs> Mother, I will not be long. I will just meet up with my partner and then check out a few things. I will be right back. 
Well, I'm not against you traveling. But my problem is with your wife, the princess. Mother, you and I have been through this once before. Why are you intentionally trying to draw His Majesty's attention to it? What, don't you want me to know what is going on in my kingdom? My dear, please go on. Inque, the princess is so extravagant and I, I cannot condone it any longer. Mother, I know what you're driving at. Father, let me say it myself. I bought my mother-in-law a jeep and then the princess changes her wardrobe quite frequently. I don't see anything wrong with her changing her wardrobe frequently and spending money. Uh, wait a minute. I don't uh, have anything against uh, um, extravagance. No. Wasn't that what you wanted? You wanted uh, a, a young lady who is um, full of verve, full of life, uh, and at the same time has a lot of uh, class. Class. Right? Then why are you complaining? My case is that. I do not want her to spend a dime without me confirming it. Right. That is my case. Right. Excuse me. Open the door. Father, I want to ask you a question. Why is it that two women can never live under the same roof without a fight? <laughs> it beats me. <laughs> my son. It has been like that from the beginning of time. Even if there are two blood sisters, two of them, only very few have the understanding. Take uh, 10, 20, 40 men, put them together, they will live happily. But throw one woman into their midst and uh, that's the end of peace. <laughs> but it still beats me though. Why suddenly she just turned against my wife? To think that she was the one that even recommended her in the first place. <laughs> well, my son, you are still a boy. When you become a man, then you will see beyond your nose. My son, talk to your wife. Tell her to cut down on her spending. Things are a bit tough nowadays. Yes. What's wrong with you? Every time I make an apology, you will both it. What's wrong? Would you respect your highness? I can't it. It's an abomination, please. Hmm. Abomination. It's an abomination. Huh? Sneaking into the rooms of all these maidens. They keep sneaking, sneaking. Yeah? Now he says I'm God is my witness. I've never done it with any of them. Saints. Saints. Do you know what I'm offering you? I'm offering you diamond. Key to success. If you do it with me, I'll make you the head of the guards in this palace. You know my words are A and Amen. You know. Your Highness, I don't want to die young. You saw what happened to the other guy that did it with the other princess. His body was fed to the lions. Please, oh, I don't, don't want to die. I'm the only son of my father, please. Oh, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Come on. You don't know I like you. I love football. I love to play. And I love Manu. Guess who I love most the Manu? West Brown. You look like West Brown. Bring that out. Mm -hmm. Yes! yes. Mm -hmm. Lie down. Lie down. See you, boy. <laughs> you stupid imbecile. You have the effrontery? You have the guts to peep at me while I was changing my clothes? What were you expecting to see, you moron? Your Highness, I swear to God I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You didn't do it? I didn't do it. Oh, that means I'm lying. Let me tell you, I am going to make sure you leave this palace. If you don't leave this palace, no. I will leave for you. No, 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 Your Highness. You know I didn't do it. 
You moron. What are you expecting to see? My goodness. What's going on here? Thank Christ you're here, Your Majesty. I wonder what the palace is turning into. This imbecile had the effrontery, he had the temerity, he had the guts to peep at me while I was changing my clothes. Your Majesty, I swear to God, God is my witness, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, sir. You are telling me that the princess is lying. Oh, boy, ask your him, Majesty, Your Majesty, Majesty ask him. Your Majesty, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, please, sir. He's actually been doing it. I just decided to put a stop to it today. And it's either he leaves the palace or I will leave for this imbecile. Guards! Yes, Your Majesty. Take him away. Your Majesty, I'm innocent. I'm innocent, sir. I'm innocent. Hey! I'm innocent. 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 I'm so many things are going wrong. Too many things are getting out of hand. Mm. My son, the problem I have at the moment is with Nkume. He has not seen anything for a, for a while now. So many things are going wrong right under his nose. And nerves. that is our problem, Your Majesty. That's our problem. So many things are going wrong. And we can't just sit back, fold our arms, and see things go bad. In Tanko, it was a seer that made it very impossible for the armed robbers to operate and escape and go scot free. And, and, and when the heir of Agabi Kingdom was kidnapped, it was a seer that unraveled it. Need I mention that it was a seer in the palace of Awada Kingdom? that helped them recover their lost treasure. Your Majesty, why? Why ours is the reverse? Why is it so? Indeed. Um, my son, don't worry. Don't let it worry you too much. We'll see you. We'll see you. Hmm? Yes, Your Majesty. Sick and tired of hearing. Uh, I need no time. Uh, I can't see clearly. Look, your father served me very well. So it's either you see clearly or leave the palace. Your Majesty, Nkume is blind. Nkume cannot see again. What, what do you mean by that? Your Majesty. The girls have turned their back on me. In fact, after what happened last night, Nkuma went blind totally. You are nothing but a total disgrace to the entire kingdom. Your father was never like this. I am ashamed of what you're saying. so long, how would we live? The gods shall be with you people until I come back. Proceed immediately. Oh, no, 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 no. She did, but I, I, I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay. 
You see, actually, we were in the middle of something before you oh, came. Actually, no, 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 come. Ah, come. You should be part of what we are discussing. Be seated, please. <laughs> you see, I, you see, uh, Mama. Actually, I did not want to come this way. I wanted to, you know, come the normal way, but um, it seems that Ebrele is not understanding what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's not the truth. I find her worthy of being my better half, you know. Wow. But she doesn't seem to understand what I'm saying. So please, Mama, I want you to assist me and talk to her. Please, please. Count on me, okay? I'll do just that. Okay. My dear, you heard what he said. Mama, I heard what he said. And this is not the first time he's talking about it. But the thing is, I need time to myself. Mama, you know what I've been through. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready. I'm all for Okay. Uh, Mama, I think I have to be on my way. But I still insist on that, you know, you help me talk to her. Please. Come to me. She means a lot to me. I have to step. Thank you, dear. Take care of you. All right. Ciao, ciao. You can't live your life all true like this. A young man like this asking for a hand in marriage. I mean, I'm, you told me he said he would take care of you and your baby. So why? I know. I know. But I've told you that I need time. Don't you understand? I need time. I'm not ready for this. I'm not even in the right frame of mind for this discussion, Mama. Please, just let me be. Please. I understand your plight, but... Um, I think getting married to this man will make you forget all this worry about Prince and, and all the rest. Hmm? Think about it then. Hmm? Well, I called you because uh, I have something very important to discuss with you. What is it, Father? I was thinking about you remarrying. And uh, coincidentally, your parents told me that there is this medical doctor that wanted to marry you. Um, Father, I, I thought we've been through this before. Yes, we have. We've been through all this. We've been through all of this. I know that, yes. But I was thinking that when you get married, I mean, happiness will gradually uh, creep back into your life. Father, the only time happiness can come back into my life is when God vindicates me. Father, you don't know how I feel knowing that I'm being accused of what I know nothing about. It's very painful. Father, I've been called all sorts of names. I've been called a prostitute. I've been called a... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I would be lying if I told you that I didn't understand how you feel. Yes, but you must move on. You must put yourself back together. Father, I need to cross this hurdle. Yes, so that tomorrow, if any allegation is leveled against me, people will believe that it's not true. Please, Father, understand me. I want you to see this from my own point of view. Well, um, anyway, I, I still want you to have it at the back of your mind. I want you to think about it. I believe that God will guide you in taking the decision that you have to take to make your life a good one and get back to life. This one. Well, uh, Before you go, I'd like yeah. to read Adalbert Bishop and Matai.
Shokike, the God of creation. Shall I be left alone to be made a laughing stock? My forefathers, shame on me is shame on you. And my joy, your joy. Please, my ancestors, come to my rescue. My ancestors, please come to my rescue. Whatever it is I may have done, I beg of you. Show it to me. My ancestors, like I said earlier, my fight is your fight, and my winning you are winning. My forefathers, the gods of the land, please speak to me. Reveal it to me. Speak to me, my forefathers. Reveal it to me. I am thy servant. I am thy servant. You know me to be a man of my words. I do. You also know me to be a man of few words. You know my family. You know that we don't have enough land. Isunna. You see, you've been going round and round. I want you to go straight to the point. Hit the nail on the head. Izuna. It's about that land matter coming up. You know that land belongs to Mazio KK's family. And I have approached them so many times to sell that land to me. They refused. Saying that it, it is the only inheritance they have from their father. So, Izuna, what do you want me to do? Nkume, Izuna, you know you are the eyes of the gods. I am. That whatever you said is final. That's true. I want you to side me so that that land will become mine. Huh? I will give you 100,000 naira if you can do it for me. Izuna, Nkume, it is not as if I'm not going to compensate them. I will compensate them. Huh? Or is it about the money that I offer that is small? I will make it 500,000 naira. Come here. 
it is difficult. But um, the gods will understand. <laughs> Let's see how you go. That land is yours from today. Nkume! Your Majesty, the land in question belongs to my family. My grandfather gave the land to her husband's grandfather because they don't have enough to farm on. You have majesty, but for the white collar job I was doing in the city, I would have been farming on that land. So, your majesty, I want to take what is rightly mine. Well, thank you. <clears throat> now, let us hear from the other party. May you live long, your majesty. Before the death of my father, he always told me that that land is the only thing he got from his grandfather. <laughs> and that on no condition should it be sold to anybody. Mazi Zuna here has always come to my mother for that piece of land. But my mother keeps telling him no. So that is exactly where I stand, Your Majesty. Mm. Thank you. Now we have heard from both of you, it is time for us to now retire and consider everything that you have said. So you will give us uh, some time. Go and wait outside. Majesty. Uh, what have they said? Your Majesty, Izunna is the rightful owner of the land. Mm. And he would have gladly given it to that woman if she had approached him responsibly. Your Majesty, we all know no and the way she runs her mouth. So, what you're saying is that uh, Izun uh, is the rightful owner of that land. So say the gods, Your Majesty. And so be it. God, bring them in. Considered everything that you said. And we have come to the conclusion that Izuna is the rightful owner of that land. Hi! <laughs> and madam, you have between now and sunset to vacate the land. Oh my God. I have spoken, and so shall it be. Thank you, Your Majesty. You may leave. May you live long, Your Majesty. I have spoken, and so shall it be. Because you have realized your mistress and asked for forgiveness, thou shalt be forgiven, but not without consequence. In two native ways, thou shalt wander in this wilderness without food and without water. At the end of the two native ways, thou shalt go down to the Guinea River, and thou shalt bark. Thou shalt also clean thy tongue. And in that way, thou shalt re-establish thy contact 
with the gods. My, 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 my. My ancestors, as it pleases you. to behave like an animal. You don't even care if anyone else exists in this place. By the way, who employed you? It's the princess. When? Not too long, your majesty. I see. Tell the princess I want to see her right away. Yes, your majesty. You sent for me. Yes, I did. This young man here said that you employed him. Yes, Your Majesty, I did. Without my consent? Actually, Your Majesty, it was necessary. The other guy had misbehaved. But at least you should have consulted me. Forgive my ignorance, Your Majesty. I beg to be forgiven. It's okay. Your Majesty, please, can he continue with his duties? I beg you. You can go on with your job. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. I beg you. It's chicken. I'm trying. I'm trying. Am I not? God damn it. Look, you should pay me off. The deal was that you pay me off. You go your own way, I go mine. Chiki, my husband is not around. He traveled. I can't lay my hands on him. Now listen to me, Equi. It is either you get me the five million naira and I leave the country. I mean, I travel abroad or I'm coming back to that palace. And I believe you know what that means. Chiki, listen to me. Sorry, please. Your Majesty wants to see you. Of course. I'll be in a minute. Hello, Chiki. Please, I beg you. Don't do anything until you hear from me.
Your Majesty. You sent for me. I did, Queen. Please sit. <clears throat> Take a look at this painting. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes, yes, Your Majesty. It's, it's beautiful. Guess who made it? <sighs> Your Majesty, you know I'm terrible at guessing. <laughs> the new guard you employed made it. I sent? My goodness! Oh, I always knew you had something going for him. This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, since that boy came into this palace, everything has changed. Everything is now in its proper place. God, I, I want to make him the head of the, of the guards. And I'm sure my son is going to like him when he comes. Oh, Your Majesty, that is so kind of you. And a very good idea at that. I want you to communicate to him. I will, Your Majesty. I will. Nkume, where are you coming from? I never thought I would see you again. You have come with your bad news. Hey, where are you going to? I came at the instance of Her Majesty. Uh, there's an urgent job she desires I do for her in the, in the palace. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You, you know your way in. Ah, ah, who doesn't know uh, the old palace? Once you enter inside the house, uh, the, the second door by your left. <laughs> I mean, how can you be asking me? So? You, you can go. Who is walking around as if he's the Stop king him. himself? Stop him! Bring him here. Oof. Who are you? Your Majesty, I am Omenoko. Um, who sent you? Uh, um, actually, um, I came here at the instance of Her Majesty, mm -hmm. uh, the Queen. Uh, yes, I have a job for her this evening, and uh, it will continue till tomorrow morning. In the palace? Yes, of course. <laughs> what kind yes. of job do you have uh, here uh, in the palace that is going to continue till tomorrow morning? Uh, and, and what's in that bag? Where are your tools? What's in the bag? Yeah, yeah, um, the, ba the, ba the bag. Okay, the bag. Hey! 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 is in this bag that made you run away? What's in the bag? Your Majesty. I'm, I'm not your Majesty. What's in the bag? Who sent you? Your Majesty. Who sent you? She sent me. What? 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 Actually, she gave me this phone to be communicating her. My lost phone. Oh, 
uh, and, the, and the shoes. My missing shoes? Uh, uh, shoes. Once His Majesty wears the shoe, he dies instantly. What is this man? Hey! What, mm, what? It's, it's what is this right? man talking about? Mm. Let him finish. <laughs> and, and the vegetable. If she cooks with this for His Majesty, he becomes her perpetual slave. I mean, the slave to the queen. Mm. So, this is what you were planning for me. But please, uh, it's hunger, hunger that caused this. I will not do it again. Please, I beg you. Majesty, I have never seen this man in my whole life. I don't know what this man is talking about. Who are you? I thought it was very, very clear. Is that on the phone that you told me was, so, was stolen? Are those not my shoes? Your Majesty, I've never seen this man before. You, you know me. You know I couldn't have done all this. Arrest this one. Arrest him! Mm. Get up! Mm. He's hunger. 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 Mm -mm. You. Take her to her apartment. And let her remove every single thing that belongs to her. Out of the old and the new palace. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, no, please. Don't touch me. Your Majesty, you know I couldn't have... He came... He, you... You... You know... I... I I've never seen this man. I, I don't know who he is. Your Majesty. Please. Um, instead of sending her out there, can we... restrict her in the boys' quarters? So that we can avoid scandal. So that it doesn't get out there. Please. Stop that! Wait. Your Majesty doesn't want to do anything like that. Very well. Take this animal to the police station. Now move! Take him! Move! 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 Your Majesty, the Queen will never do a thing like this. She could never descend so low. Please, Your Majesty. Well, move her to the boys' quarters immediately. Move her! to see the queen crying. My God, I never thought in my entire life that she could be subdued. I told you, you never believed me. I'm sure from now onwards, you have no reason whatsoever to doubt your mother. Mommy, I never doubted you. At that point, frustration had set in. My brain was no longer working. That was why. Um, but I, I have news for you. What, what is it? I'm pregnant. Eh? You're pregnant? Hey! Chideke Kao! Chideke Mama! Eh? Idime! So I'm going to become a grandmother. Madam Tinted! Hey! Agame Tikasi Obudu! It's not easy. My daughter, you have finally secured your place in that palace. There is no place that has been secured in the palace, mommy. Why are you talking like this? Pregnancy is not for the prince. Piku, let's just be between us. Let me tell you, it does not matter where the pregnancy is coming from. Pregnancy is pregnancy. 
Now you have secured your place in that palace. No problem. Don't, just relax. Everything is going to be alright. Okay, where do we get the five million naira to give this boy as payoff? You know he's beginning to blackmail me. I never thought this boy would begin to behave like this. My daughter, don't worry. Don't worry. Look, let me tell you. Every house has its own problems. If I tell you what people do to secure their interests, you will not believe it. So don't worry. Eh? That one is a small thing. How about uh, the other boy, Omenuko? What happened to him? Uh, the prince asked the police to release him. He said he didn't want any scandal. Good. Hey. Very good. My daughter, I'm so happy. Hey. Um, let me get you a glass of fresh milk. No, no, mommy. I, hey. I really need to get back to the palace. Okay, no problem. Hey, come just take it easy. It's okay. Does the prince know that you're pregnant? Mommy. <laughs> I'm going to room 108. Okay, 108. Sorry, what's your name? Amina. Yes, sir. The lady said to see you. She says her name, her name is Amina. Okay. Um, first time by you. Right. I can't believe this. What can't you believe? That lady is the princess of Ibala Kingdom. Serious? She says her name is Amina. I wonder what she's doing here. Do we need some? Of course. Maybe she has a business here. Maybe. Like the only just mind her business, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Oh. My babe. Oh, sexy. You are so fantastic. I can't believe this is what I've been missing. The prince has been depriving me of all this. Baby, don't worry. You know, why are you sounding as if this is the first time, huh? Call me anytime, baby. I'm going to give it to you. Real hard. I love that down. Just down below, I love that look. <laughs> uh, oh, let me give you the money. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, sexy. Baby, what's up? I think I forgot my checkbook. You forgot your check? You forgot your check? Don't give me that crap, baby. Oh, baby, I think it should be in my car. Yeah. Better. So that means when we get downstairs, you can always give it to oh, me. Oh, sexy. Oh, baby. What? You know the reception is going to be jam-packed by now, and all eyes will be on me. Why don't we do it this way? You go to my car, open it, just check inside the pigeon hole, you'll see my check. Mm -hmm. I love this man. Uh, look at that ass. Now pop it, pop it, pop it. Can you pass me my handbag? Thank you. Sexy. I love this man. <laughs> oh, who's my okay? Um, whose name do I write on the check? My name, of course. So, do you have anybody's name you want to write? Of 
course not. <laughs> Are you okay? Your Majesty, the Queen is suffering in vain. The former wife of the Prince is also suffering in vain. How do you expect me to believe that? My lost shoes, the lost telephone, and the little boy, you saw him with your own eyes, didn't you? Your Majesty, the gods are spirit. You don't have to be in the world of the judgment of the gods. Oh, I don't. It's just, a, it's very difficult to be. Patience. Patience. The ancestors are becoming friendlier these days. The culprit will soon be brought to justice and put to shame. My love, I brought you in here because I want to have a little talk with you. I've noticed that your monthly expenses is quite high and it has become a little intolerable. Meaning? Meaning you need to cut down on your expenses. Cut down on my expenses? My goodness! Your Majesty, before you married me, you knew I loved designer things. I love designer shoes, handbags, glasses, perfumes, clothing. What do you expect? I get married to you and my dress sense depreciates. Or your mother mentioned it and I just chose to ignore her. I hope you're not towing her line. My love, I'm not trying to upset you or anything. I'm just trying to make you understand that we have a child coming along and we need to plan for our future. So we can live a comfortable life but nothing Extravagant. I'm not extravagant. The fact that I spend a whole lot of money to look good, buy very expensive accessories just to look gorgeous does not make me extravagant. My goodness. As for the child, God will provide. Well, your majesty, if there's nothing more for us to discuss, I beg to take my leave. I knew we are going to pass through this year. That's why I'm waiting here. Ebere, you, Bible. <laughs> hey! 
Abigail, why are you talking like this? You know I go to church. Wonder shall never cease. Eh? You think you can deceive me the way you are deceiving others? You failed. Well, why I'm here is that I want to tell you to back off. Take your hands off, Chris. Or else I will skin you alive. Egypt. But Abigail, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're saying. I don't have anything with, with Dr. Chris. You will soon know. Idiots. Why? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what, why two men won't be enough for you. Eh? You think I'm afraid of your charm? I'm not. Eh, Barry, I'm not afraid of your charm because I've heard your story. I've heard I used to use charm to collect what belongs to your friends. Abigail, me, charm, me, mm. charm. Look at you, charm, charm, charm. And let me warn you. Take your hands off, Chris. Chris is my man. You think I don't know that you went to the palace to sleep with the guard? If you try that mess with me, this your face, I will squeeze it out of your neck. Idiots. Well, I squeeze your face out of your neck. Yeah, the door is open. Good afternoon. Ah, please come, 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 come. Come, be seated. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh my God, I'm happy you made our time to come and see me. Thank you, sir. So let me go straight to the point. You see, um, oh, sorry, what do I offer you? Oh my God, I'm becoming confused. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know. Let me, let me go straight to the point. You see, I, I asked you to come so that I will know your answer. You understand me? Just let me know what I'm doing. I, I'm sad. Sir, I, I want to take my time. Oh my God, you want to take your time? Why? Well, I, 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 I want to have an answer so that I will not rush things. You know, I like to take my time you know, when it comes to do, doing things like this. Oh, are you still waiting for the prince? No, far from that, sir. Sir, see, I've had a series of encounters with Abigail. Yes, and she claims that you're hers. The last thing I want to do, sir, is fight over a man with any woman. It's not in my dictionary. Besides, my paramount concern is my son. How he's going to be taken care of, how he'll be fed and all. I'm not thinking about any other thing now apart from that. My dear, let me, let me give you one assurance. I do not have anything to do with a big girl. Whatever she's saying, however she's saying it, I don't know. But she's a lady. Probably what she's telling you is what she's nursing in her mind. And she's not made it open to me about your son. I bet I love you. I love you so much. So if I love you, anything that is coming from you, I should love too. So I am prepared to take you and your son together, no problem. It doesn't matter. Both of us are going to live under the same roof. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sir, it might not matter now. But I'm sure in the near future it will. Oh my God, Ebele, 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 why are you talking like this, Ebele? Ebele, you, 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 you walked for a while here, and I believe that while you were walking here, I, I, I earned your trust. Talking of trust, I do not trust anybody. For crying out loud, sir, I'm in this situation because of trust, my best friend. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot trust you. I cannot trust anybody. I will never trust anybody in my life because I, the pain I feel inside of me now is because of trust. I will. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wipe your tears. It's okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. So, you don't want to take anything? Let me call the nurse. No, thank you. No, sir. Thank you.
Gaiti. Abele, did you tell her anything? Shh. Did you just kiss? Abigail, did you just kiss? There is something she told me, and I don't want to believe it's true. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. She's a colleague, and I want the relationship between you and her to be that of nurse, 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 and nothing more than that. Don't go gossiping with my name or whatever. Have I told you anything? Yes, I... I love you. Hey, you love me. I love hey, you I know you love heart. me. I know you love me. I know you do the... That's what you shut up, my friend. Are you crazy? You love me. <laughs> Have I ever told you I love you or something? <laughs> hey, hey, let me tell you something. That I am a doctor does not mean that I will be civil to this extent. I can be brutal if you try me. I love Ebele with all my heart. And if you come between Ebele and I, I could kill you. Please, please. Love me. Look at you. Come on, my Don't try me. I love Don't you. Don't try me. Have that in, in your mind. Please, Look at you. I hey, love you. Out, I love you. I love you. I love you too. I love you, Chris. I love you, Chris! <laughs> but I saw somebody throwing you into the fire. Huh? The face was not clear to me. I'm not certain if it's a she or a he. <sighs> so Gume was right. I was living with my enemy. The devil. I... That means it is possible that Ebele did not do anything. I... Look at how I'm living like an outcast. My husband and my son believe I'm a murderer. God, God, please help me. Help me prove my innocence, Lord. Help me. Help me, God. Help me. Please help me. Larry is becoming too difficult. I mean, he's just too demanding. I've already given him money, but he asked me to give him more money. 
after I bought his brother a bus. So what is the idiot saying this time? He's saying his brother is sick. He needs money to deposit at the hospital and he needs money to settle himself so he doesn't suffer the way Chiki did. Can you imagine? I told him I don't have any money. But the problem is that I suspect he wants to do something evil. I suspect it so strongly. My daughter, delay is dangerous. Act now. There's no point delaying. Just do something now, fast. Mommy, you're right. I'm going to do to him what I did to Chike. Chike tried to be smart, and that's why he paid the supreme price. Larry won't be different. Don't worry. Immediately you drop the call. I'll send for him. I'll assist him to get to the land of the dead easily. Very fast at that. Eh uh -huh. get a kibian. It's not that you're talking. Pick on one. Delay is dangerous. Please do not waste time. Just act fast. I'll call you back, Mom. Alright, Mom. Bye. <laughs> What is the matter? What is the matter with you? Why do you look so morose? Speak, what, what, what is the matter? Talk to me! Majesty, I have a confession to make. Get, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. What, what, what confession? What, 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 what? Get up, get up, get up. Your Majesty, it's about the land. Your Majesty, it is about the judgment you delivered on the land also, between honor and his own. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yes. What about the judgment? Your, Your Majesty, Zuna is not the rightful owner of that land. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Zuna is, is, is not the rightful owner? He gave me a bribe, so I lied with the name of the gods. Your Majesty, that was why I, I went blind. I want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. Oh, ye gods. So, you lied to me. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. You lied to me. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. We gave the land to the wrong person. How could you? How could you? Oh, oh, because of the wrong advice you gave me, I put the lives of poor Onowa, oh, in total distress. And the poor woman was crying that day. And you was, and you saw her crying, and you still continued with this lie. No. Why is not for the memory of your father? How diligent, how trustworthy. I would have had your head chopped off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So you better get back, get to Izuna immediately and ask him to return the land to Onowa immediately. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Majesty I have a confession to make. Another confession? Is this a day of confessions? So, what, 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 what is this confession? Your Majesty, I won't say anything until the process is here. Princess, 
here immediately. Sit down, sit down. Dear confession. So, who are we waiting for? Ah. Your Majesty. So you are here. So you are here. You stupid, good for nothing imbecile. So you came here. Your Majesty. Can you imagine? This good for nothing tout, this riffraff, went to my room and stole 200,000 naira. And he also stole the jewels that the prince bought for me when he was down. No, no, no. Also that's, that's, your Majesty is not that's true. Not, let's, let's hear you. Your Majesty, if she says he stole it, he stole it. Let him speak. Speak. Sit down. Your Majesty. I'm ashamed of myself. I know that no matter what I say, I must be killed because of what I've done in the palace. Your Majesty, the moment I learned that Equi was married to the Prince of Ebala Kingdom, I knew that the kingdom was heading for doom. Your Majesty, all the atrocities that have been going on in the palace, we are masterminded by Equi and her mother. Such blasphemy! Now will you shut up? Your Majesty, the man you people call Chike is not Chike. His real name is Collins. You attended the same university. Equi hired him to do dirty jobs in the palace. Your Majesty, that Chike is Equi's mother's boyfriend. Are you out of your mind? Now shut up, I said. Sit down. And I am one of Equi's boyfriends. What are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? Will you shut up? Sit down. Your Majesty, I know that nobody here knows that Equi is two months pregnant. That pregnancy belongs to me. DNA will prove me right or wrong, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Omen Okoda came here claiming to be a native doctor. It's not a native doctor. We were schoolmates. His real name is Tupac. If you doubt me, ask anybody that attended Osilibi University. Your Majesty. Please help me beg the Queen. It was Equi here who asked me to bring the King's shoe and the Queen's handset. Even the artwork that I brought to the palace purporting to have been drawn by me was not true, Your Majesty. Equi gave me money to buy it. But it was really drawn. Shut up. Your Majesty, I know that I've committed a lot of atrocities and death awaits me. But my heart is gladdened because I know that my confession will free the entire kingdom from bondage. <sighs> Collins. Your Majesty, about Collins, I don't know if Collins is still alive. Because of the kind of call I overheard Equi and her mother making. Your Majesty. The former Princess Ebere is innocent. She was framed up. Oh. 
Your Majesty, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, Your Majesty, please forgive me. Good day, Your Royal Highness. We are here for the princess. In connection with the mother of one Mr. Collins, uh, Rema, in Metus Hotels. Such lies! Who sent you? Dad, arrest him! Arrest that man! Take her away. Your Majesty. And the boy too. I am a princess. Of a royalty! Seize them! Your Majesty! Go in. Dad! Move! Arrest them! I'm royalty! I said take the boy too! Your Majesty, please. 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 Your Majesty. With all due respect, I suggest we leave the boy. The God's reason as a channel. Yes. Let's leave him. So be it. His Majesty. His Majesty. Long live His Majesty. What are you doing? Huh? What do you want? What are you doing in my house? Darkness and light do not have any relationship. So what are you doing in my compound? Mama, please try and understand. Understand what? Eh? Leave my house now. Leave my house or I'll shout. I'll call the neighbors. Leave my house. Imam Pokwea. Let me tell you something. If you don't know the extent of your strength, that is the worst thing that could happen to you. Mama, I have come to realize my mistake. And I said I'm sorry. Please. Sorry about what? Sorry for what now? You don't want to leave Okuya? Eh? You want me to go physical? You want me to, to, to go physical so that people will start saying that a commander like me pushed the prince? Or they raise their ha hand against the prince Okuya? No? Want to leave my compound? I'm going to run there. This house is open. It's yours. Stay there. No, no. Come, 
hit you, man. You're not straight bleeding, man. They'll beat you, man. You should be a girl. Bad luck. Wait. So, you still don't want to talk? You don't want to talk? Officer. Listen, let me tell you something. This country will be a better place without people like you. Give her more dose. Let's settle this thing. Listen, let me tell you. It is only someone that is abnormal will discuss with the murderer. See, I'm not happy because this case is going before a judge that is lenient. I got six. You took someone's life. Can you make one? Can you? No. Rubbish. Sir, she was the one that made me. She's the one that caused me. Rubbish. Let me be Look at this girl. Just. Take them out, just take them out. Officer, please, sit. Can we just have a Officer, please, now, please. We are not happy people. Father, I... I am here to see Father Franklin because there's some things I want to discuss with him. Oh, Father Franklin, he was transferred two weeks ago. No! He, you see the kind of insult that is in from this young man. Very big relation. Let me not talk to the one he gave to my wife. Okay, Brother John. There's a portion in the Lord's Prayer that says, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I know you know that portion of the Bible. Yes, my yes. <laughs> yes, this young man has offended you, no doubt. He has offended all of you. But 
I want him to be forgiven. He should be forgiven because he asked for it. You need to see this young man when he narrated his ordeal. Do you know, Brother John, that this same man that has been causing all these problems from one place to the other is the same human being that framed the queen? Yes. Yes. Abele, you will have to stop crying. You remember what you told me sometime in the recent past? That you could smile when you were vindicated. Yes. Brother John, I want, you to... I want you to put on the toga of forgiveness. I want you to give this young man a second chance and let God be the one to take control of the entire situation. It is well with you. It is well. It is well. Shall we just rise for a word of prayer? Well, my brothers and sisters, well, there is no need of a flog in the issue here. I know that we are all Christians, and uh, I believe that we all live by the tenets of the good book. And that good book preaches forgiveness. Forgiveness. Now, if we do not forgive each other, how do we expect God, the Almighty God, to forgive us? Well, I must confess that I'm delighted. I am very happy to be present here today. I am indeed very, very happy to be alive, to witness this. I thank you all. I thank you also. Thank you, Reverend Father. My people, you know it is the tradition of our land that no king apologizes. But I am going to put that aside today because I have decided to apologize to my people because I have failed in my duty as a king. I know that innocent people have suffered a lot of pain. And I want, I want them all Please forgive me that it will never happen again. I will never give a judgment before I have thoroughly investigated. My wife, my dearest wife, I know I apologized to you behind closed doors. But I believe that the entire people of this kingdom should hear me say it to you. I want you to please forgive and forget. And I promise it will never happen again. Because I know, I know what pain and suffering you went through. Please forgive me. Igwe, I have forgiven you. I still maintain that. I should take bulk of the blame because 
I was the one who brought in the ant infested firewood. In my quest for somebody who would fit into this kingdom, I, I totally forgot about the way and the will of God. And this almost cost me my marriage. My happiness. And my entire world. Your Majesty, I thank you. Mother, thank you. I'm actually very happy that my father, the king, has openly apologized in front of everyone here. A very bold step and I'm delighted that my mother and father have ironed out everything and they are happy once again. Reverend Father, thank you very much. My laws, thank you for your presence. Thank you. Abby. I... I want to openly apologize to you. Just like my father did. I want to let you know that I am truly sorry for the wrong things that I did to you. All the pains that I caused you. If I could go back into time, I, I know I wouldn't have done those things. And I want to say sorry for not being there for our child. I really wish I was there all this time. I'm asking you to forgive me. And I want you to know that I'm bold. I am bold. To say I'm sorry. <laughs> My laws. I'm sorry for the pains I caused you. Mama. Papa. I want to go back to my promise that I made earlier on. I'm always going to be by her side. No matter what. Father, I 
our future queen. Love 